Africa. Mic check. Checking mics. Checking mics. All right, let's get this train wreck moving for that. We really should have kept track of how many of these we did. We did at one point, and we stopped. But welcome to the Saturday night stream thing. <laughs> ten, ten years. Ten years of making Nerf content on YouTube, starting in 2014 with a humble video asking why every single seemingly reviewer hated the Nerf Diatron. And again, this was over a decade ago. The blaster wasn't even really new at the time. I think it was a year or two old at that point. And then I just kept kind of making videos, much to everybody's chagrin. How y'all doing tonight? People asking about what the... This is a Final Fantasy X or XIII-2, uh, one of the battle themes. Uh, it's called Last Hunters. Is that a prime? Yeah, these are like 50 cents at my local uh, grocery outlet, which for 200 milligrams of caffeine, and honestly, they taste pretty good. Uh, that's that's a steal. I'll have to, I can't drink it. Like they, they engineered the can, so you can't drink it without the logo showing. It's pretty good, though. I like it. The prime bubble burst. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Like, weren't kids like killing each other for these things back in the day? I have no idea what happened. How's my day going? Uh, felt like garbage most of the day. I have taken some pills and I'm feeling a little bit better. How about you, fiery colors? Speaking of diatrons, I have one right here. The original, the best. I've had this blaster. This is one, it's not the first, but it's one of the first. And I still say that I've probably tagged more people out with this diatron than any other blaster I own. Uh, I don't know why people hated this thing so much because I thought it was rad, especially back in the day when we didn't really have massive short darts or 150 FPS blasters. Is that a rare paint job? It's, uh, yeah, it was the second version, the tattoo-themed one. I think there was, like, three blasters in that line, Smith Zero. Well, I hope you feel better soon, Fiery Colors. Can you prime the Diatron with a prime bottle? Uh, let me add some discs. We're just gonna go... How many of you have never seen this blaster before? Oh my god, one of the discs is chroma keyed out. <laughs> where's where's my box i had a box go oh here it is <laughs> we gotta get an orange disc so we got we got two flavors here we got chroma keyed and normal let's put normal in there it holds 10 rounds just kind of put them in this internal magazine and as all good blasters should it fires two at once, so it's a shotgun. But can I prime it with a prime bottle? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. So now, you can probably tell this thing's loaded. You can see the discs in there. And when I pull the trigger, uh, you should come out slow enough that you can see it. Never mind, that came out surprisingly violently. It is modified. Uh, in the way that, but yeah, you can prime it with a prime bottle. 
Hawkeye started Nerf in 2014. I've seen a lot of people say they've never seen it. Okay, so I guess my goal for today is to convince you that Diatron is still an amazing blaster and to show you exactly how far Nerf has fallen. So I believe this was a $20 blaster when I picked it up. It might have been 30, but it is, it's a massive pistol. I'm not gonna say it's not. It's not ambidextrous, although the magazine release is on both sides. The priming bar is only on one. It's got a stock attachment point, so I can work with anything. Very comfortable grip. Uh, very comfortable. And it kind of reminds you of, like, the uh, like laser cutter from Dead Space, in a way. It kind of gives you that vibe. And it is a shotgun. Modifying these is possible, and you really have to to get full enjoyment out of the Diatron. The problem is that I tried to make a guide after I modified this one, and if you do anything remotely wrong, or if the catch just snaps on you, uh, you have to have this blaster primed in order to actually work it, uh, like to get inside of it and everything. You actually have to leave it prime. You can't deprime it. It sucks. But yeah, internal magazine for 10 rounds. It can actually hold 10 plus two. Uh, I think I've seen people like modify these so they come out even farther or use uh, like swappable mags on top of this system. But it is freaking awesome. You got one big long tactical rail up here and uh, that's pretty much it except for the magazine layer. Uh, the, like this will kick the uh, rounds out if it doesn't work for some reason. Multi-shot madness is correct, Lightning Eagle. That's what this line was for, and it only shared its name with one other blaster, which was the Rough Cut 2x4 from the Elite line. Uh, Ritter Family Ritter. Hey, Walcott, why do you call it a blaster instead of a gun? Because blaster is way better to say in pleasant company. Uh, calling them guns is kind of stupid, because gun is typically related to firearms, and this is not a firearm. It is a blaster. Um... It's way easier to, you know, talk about them in, you know, public when you call them blaster and it protects our hobby. So we call them blasters. That's what Nerf calls them. That's what everybody calls them. Smith Zero, I remember seeing the Diatron advertised alongside the Rough Cut. What a shame multi-shot multi madness didn't continue. As you are right. I used the Diatron as a secondary for a long while, says the Norse man. Happy decade. Thank you, Lennox. I really appreciate it. Yeah, a decade. And this was what started it all. This was the blaster that every single reviewer loathed. And to be fair, it's not exactly stellar with all of the locks in it. And this one does have a lot of locks. If you take the hour or two to remove those locks, put it back together, it is... This is the reason why the hammer shot wasn't impressive. Unless you're left-handed. But this is a one-handable blaster. I can very easily, and I've done it for years, use this blaster with like a shield or anything else or even just by itself. Could you dual wield it? It'd be difficult, but the way, like once you get rid of the locks and stuff like that, you can prime this blaster against your body. It's way easier, like against my hip and stuff like that. And I can deprime this. I don't really want to. Uh... Look at that, I got, a, I got another set of discs here. But I'll just do that, and we'll just prime it again. That's which is something you can only do once you remove the locks. And again, eh, yeah, it's going to be so many vortex discs around. It is a fantastic little shotgun, and the ammo itself, the vortex disc, has a lot of. Really, I would argue are still usable today. Here is a. Vortex disc for those of you that don't know because they haven't been on shelves for like six years and these are foam discs with soft plastic middles They are extremely durable Which is one of the reasons why I love these things you can fire these so many times and they'll always perform the same way unlike a foam dart uh, I hope I'm wrong, but I have a horrible suspicion that the motor blitz and double plunge were elite blasters that got delayed in development That's entirely possible round bear uh, the deploy is the best nerf blaster telling me I'm wrong. Well, you are in fact wrong, Tony. Um, one of the best guns I ever got was a Vortex Nitron. To this day, I still think it's one of the greatest scopes in nerf history. You are not wrong, PMAC. It is an amazing scope. A uh, Vortex is almost impossible to dodge. And that is one of the things that Vortex absolutely excels at. So, 
Vortex discs are almost unpredictable. You can predict them in some ways, but the Diatron really did completely subvert expectations when it came to any kind of other Vortex Blaster, because it doesn't work like any other Vortex Blaster out there. Homely with a $10 tip says 10 years, 10 bucks. Please stop before you get to 100 years. I make no promises, Homely. Thank you very much for the $10 tip. These discs are, they usually curve to the right, but because of the way that the Diatron is designed, it actually does just kind of randomly spray them out. They could both go right, they could both go left, they could go either way. It really doesn't matter. And they are, they float in the air, as you could probably guess. They actually kind of like, they don't go very fast but they hang in the air for quite a long amount of time, which is really good if you're doing something like suppressive fire. It's also really good because as Hawkeye just mentioned, they are very difficult to dodge because not only can they randomly turn sharply towards you, like if you're, especially if they're firing and you're on the right hand side of where they, what, whoever is firing at you, if you're on the right, they'll just at one point just randomly curve into you because they spin through the air. But those factors together make them some of the most dangerous. And the fact that the Diatron fires two of them at once makes it just, it's like an unbeatable blaster. It really is. And you can use it one-handed. And it can hold like six shots before you have to reload. And once you remove the locks, it is really easy to reload. That was another problem with one of the locks is that it has like an ammo detector where you can't load the discs in like upside down or anything like that, which, you know, if you're paying attention, it's not a bad thing. Like, obviously you could have a hundred discs in a pile, like on you, like almost like a shotgun loader. Like you just pick out four discs, and load them in. There's so many different ways to use Vortex like that, like carry it on you. You use Vortex magazine as Vortex holders, including the drums, if you really wanted to. But... Those all make it one of the most dangerous blasters, especially in closer quarters. But it doesn't need to be close quarters because again, these discs travel lethargically through the air. And it, like, as if there's a projectile coming towards you, you're not gonna push. And these, like it, if you had a 150 foot range and the projectile fired at 30 FPS, like the feet per second, mind you, you it'd be sitting there, you'd never be able to push it. You'd never actually want to move. It suppresses targets absolutely, unequivocally, the best of pretty much anything in this hobby. The Diatron was just so good. I still argue it is one of the better blasters Hasbro has ever made, and it's still wholly unique even over a decade later. The only blaster in the original Vortex launch that I never had was a Proton. I wish I had one of those and not one of the later Arctic Protons. Uh, Teal Scarab, yeah, the Proton is one of the best. At least you did have a version of it. Uh, the reason why the Proton is so good is because it was like a rear prime, load the disc in, close the... I think it actually would just retract on its own sometimes. But yeah, you could... It was so fast to just have a whole bunch of discs in your hand. These ones are obviously chroma keyed out. And just pull it back, load a disc in, put it back, and just... And it fired as hard. That was the thing. Every single Vortex Blaster, with the exception of the Nitron, pretty much fired at the same velocity, no matter the size. Akari, I've been watching this channel since 2015. It's great to see how far you've... Thank you very much, Akari, because I have I try consistently to improve my content and stuff like that, so thank you very much. I'm glad you're, uh, you're still around to tell me that I'm actually going in the right direction. I appreciate that more than you can ever know. Thank you. A classic for real tipped one dollar. What happened to Prime in quotations? Logan Paul and KSI happened. PSI have two diatrons. Of course, you probably have like a billion colors nobody else even knows about. I, I don't even think I have a standard diatron. I knew I had that one because that was like the original. But yeah, I, I don't know if I even have the uh, the original colored diatron, the uh, green, orange, gray kind of thing. Hey, Clowny, nice to see you. Thanks for coming out. Vortex had a hypnotic effect as well. Hmm. Clowny could be right about that one. Thank you very much, EJ Cards. Uh, Pobbles, I remember watching your Boomco loadout videos. Are you still into Boomco, or is all the ammo no, er, and at all, and are you still into Boomco at all? And is the ammo still viable rarity aside? I would say for a lot of like wars, Boomco ammo is still incredibly viable because it is more than durable. It is very hard to dodge because it's a very small, fast traveling projectile. 
and it's most of them are like uh, the ones I have the most of are the black bodied orange tipped Boomco rounds, which are impossible to see coming towards you. It is actually cheating. That being said, you're right about the ammo being rare. I stopped bringing Boomco to games because I would always come back with half the rounds that I fired. Even though you know, like, people I, I, people just pocket them, because why not? Like Boomco rounds started to get rarer and rarer and they started to become more and more expensive and they're super easy to pick up and reuse. So yeah, it's like, oh, it's a Boomco round, just take it. Um, I would still rock a modified Boomco pistol that's about it, or maybe a modified uh, Spin Sanity 3X. Those could keep up to, I would argue those could keep up to a 200 FPS game. I, I'm pretty sure. Coop talked about the Vortex hypnotic effect in his Praxis review. Well, that was a blast from the past. Boomco hurts, though. I don't like people playing with it. Hawkeye is right. However, that, like, it only hurts if you point blank somebody with a modified blaster. Same thing with, like, normal... You know, nerf. You don't, I don't want to get point blanked by a half dart. I never saw a green Diatron. I got a lot of flack for that. I called it the Diatron, and I still don't understand why that's wrong. Uh, it's just one of those things where media, we, call, we say media, so I called it Dia, Diatron. It made sense to me, but apparently it's Dia. I, I still don't know the proper way to say that. And I got a lot of flack for calling it a Diatron. Like, I'm completely wrong. Like, everybody else was so much smarter than me. I still don't understand that one. Uh, classic for real with another $1 tip. Please go to walkonm7.com for super chats and give money to Walkom's pocket and less to Google. Well, thank you very much, Classic for real for the $1 tip. And you are entirely right. There's a link in the description if you want to send. You don't have to, obviously, but there is a link where you can donate. It puts your message on screen, and I have to read it out and do all that kind of stuff, so... What's your favorite nerf blaster of all time? Asks Galaxy Fusion. The Jolt. Uh, hey, Walcom, do you recommend buying nerf from Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist? I have bought a lot from Facebook's Marketplace and Craigslist. Just, uh, you know, make sure you don't go alone. Uh, hey, Walcom, the Nexus Pro X is out. Yep, I have one coming. Special thanks to Adquintic for that one. I will have it in Monday. So hopefully, if all goes well, I filmed this video like four times and I hated all of them. So, that's just par for course. The first take I did, which was probably my best, uh, my memory card, or in this case, my hard drive filled up, and I didn't know, because there's no notification. It just stops the blinking light on the side, and I didn't notice it. So, hopefully, I can get this out tomorrow. I can get a take that I like. I'm really hoping so, because I like this blaster a lot. Spoiler. But, I guess Monday I'll have it, so Tuesday, Wednesday, I guess I'll have the... Uh, Nexus Pro X video out. Um, yeah, no kidding, Lanix. You don't want to get point blanked by a half dart again. True. Uh, Claxfer with another one dollar uh, tip. Chat PSA homely who's a chat mob really, really, really hates jokes about Coop being gone. Just saying. Yeah, that's a good way to get banned. Boomco, for all intents and purposes, were roughly a F, uh, a a V J's. Did you mean to say FBJ's full vinyl jackets, Clowny? They have the rubber tips, which honestly cushioned the blow quite a bit. It's the same pronunciation as diode, second way, which is the long I sound. Hmm. Uh, the Mirage is chroma keyed, it looks like. Yeah, it's the, the yellow is just that slight amount of green. So it's trying to chroma key it out. Uh, this thing's sweet. I honestly don't understand why people were... Again, funny. People... I, every single comment I saw about this thing, everybody's like, oh, it looks bad. It looks terrible. I don't know. that. It, that's too short of a stock. I don't know how that's supposed to be a stock. I guess everybody expected it to be like four and a half feet long or something. I don't get it. Ah, uh, this thing's awesome. Put up a challenger and get it chroma keyed. <laughs> Um, Walcott, what is one of the worst things that happened to, uh, want modding one of your blasters? That would be doing the video. I was doing a mod guide for the Diatron and, uh, the catch broke on it while I was working on it. It just snapped and the whole, uh, priming mechanism came down on my thumb while I was holding the blaster and, uh, that video never happened after that. Hey, Tag, thank you very much. I never expected to be doing this for 10 years, so I can't imagine doing it for another 10, but I have no plans on stopping. 
Love the little guy in the corner. That is our pointer rat. Yeah, I can, I can pick up the rat and I can point at stuff on the screen. And then I can put it back. We got a pointer rat. That's exactly what it's for. I just found out that end strike attachments work on rival rails. They do, but not really. I, a lot of people are like, oh, what are you talking about? There's no attachments. So rival, uh, the normal nerf attachments work. They really don't. Because if you just look at it, I can put anything on the top of it and just lightly flick the blaster and that attachment will fly right off. I don't know why everybody was like, I got a whole bunch of comments about that. Like, oh, I had no idea that you could. Yes, of course you can. They're li literally just plastic things that grip on. It's the. Uh, uh. I, I hate the internet. I think just about everybody hates the internet. Uh, Gray does everything. Hey, Walcom, I sent something to one of your live chats about an incoming Firefly. Just wondering, is it normal for the pump grip to have a little loose after first screwing the screws in? It really shouldn't. Uh, you should be able to tighten that thing up and it should be completely fine. I'm not sure why you'd have the pump grip be a little loose. Uh, what happened to your intro thing before every video? Uh, intros are bad for YouTube. <laughs> for YouTube analytics. Same thing with outros. They're bad for YouTube analytics. I love the pointer rat. Does it have a name? I guess we could give it a name. I just have a pointer rat. <laughs> uh, hopefully new rival accessories coming. You would really hope so, Moon Spice Flower Girl. You'd really freaking hope so. Uh, there's only, what, three official rival attachments. We've got the rival red dot sight, we've got the flashlight grip, and then we've got the, uh, the bipod that came with the, uh, Jupiter. That's it. That's the only official rival ones. I guess the clips, if you want to count those. Uh, King Kavosho with a $10 super chat, 10 for 10 years. Thank you very much, King Kigo Kyo uh, Kavosha. Hopefully I'm even pronouncing that right. And Element Rider has been a member for 19 months. Afternoon, people. 07. Question for Walcom. Is there a realistic blaster that imitated a Sulin 410, a revolver shotgun? If there was, would you buy? Yes. Yes, I probably would. Um, I I don't think I can get those in the... I've looked at a bunch of those, like 410, you know, 12 gauge. Like, a lot of them are really, like, obtainable in, like, Canada, but not in the U.S. because of, like, short-barreled shotgun laws. But, yeah. No, I totally would. I think I've seen one that looks kind of like it, but eh, eh, I don't know. It was expensive and really didn't seem worth it. Uh, I took an oof. What's your favorite nerf blaster in the history of nerf? That would be the jolt. Uh, were there little clips that held the magazine? Yes, uh, they came with the, uh, the official magazine round rival uh, things. They came with two little plastic clips that would fit on the rails too. Uh, what is better, Diatron or Fuse Fire? I would argue the Diatron. The Diatron has less problems than the Fuse Fire. I love the Fuse Fire, but I think the Diatron is better. Uh, Frank Honey reacts. Walcom, explain the thumbnail in your Lepus video. What do I have to explain about it? It's a meme. Is there something about it that I should know about? Uh, King Kiwi 99. Hey, Walcom, do you have a pet rat? Because I remember you had a rat in one of your videos. Yes, we still have... Right now we have six. We have two girls and four boys. Um, we're probably not gonna get more girls after this because girls are really subjective to tumors. And that's what seemingly keeps taking a lot of our rats, uh, girl rats away. Boys, almost every boy rat we've ever had has succumbed to uh, respiratory step problems. And we, you, take, you spend $300 and take a rat to the vet and it still passes like it sucks. Uh, it's been really hard, but um, yeah, we have four beautiful boys and two energetic girls. Uh, they are awesome. You might see one in a video soon. We love rats. They, they are the best pets. I still haven't gotten a fuse fire. Man, I have several, Smith. Uh, do you own a Rebel Grace fire? I thrifted one for 40 cents. Do I own one? Uh, I do not. I do not have one of those. Lucky you. Oh! Hi, honey. Don't worry, you can't be seen unless you come like literally into my face. Oh, right. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. I am gonna put, uh, give me like two seconds chat. I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. I just had to check in on the wife really quick. She brought me another energy drink. <laughs> uh, I don't know if my heart can take this much. These are really good, by the way. Oh, I really like these ones. Uh, sorry about that, Delight. Yes, Fallon, I will. Uh, there was like a little accident at work, so I just need to check up on She also brought me a beer. I'm unsure if, if I want to drink that right now. Uh, hopefully she'll pop in, Clowny. I'm telling her she should get on. No, she doesn't want to be on camera, but... Okay, Frank, honey, uh, uh, can you explain this to me? You said that comment, I responded to it immediately, and then a couple of minutes later, you asked the same comment again. I, I swear, every stream this happens. Do you literally, like, Frank, do you just, like... And walk on, blah, 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 and then throw your phone across the room and run the complete opposite way? I've never understood that. I, I, I just don't. It like fundamentally confuses the crap out of me. You know, you can kind of one hand pr uh, the fuse fire by putting your thumb on the priming handle. Yeah, you kind of can, especially if you can pull it back. All Once you modify it, though, that's really t tempting. Uh, really hard to do. Is that grapefruit? Yes, but it's it's really good in my opinion. Uh, she's okay. Um, she's okay. I like she's she's not like yeah. Am I? Oh, he watches on mutes. <laughs> that would make sense. I thought for a second I was muted. Um, think, commenter, think. I wonder if that was with the blue trigger dart tag video on the range testing. I don't remember that one at all, but probably. Most people who ask, hey, Walcom, what's your favorite blaster? Hey, Walcom, what blaster? Hey, oh, right. Zach, are you still here? Zach is still here. All right. So, Zach, okay, I got to add... Uh... Uh, one second, Zach. Derek Woodson, the Super Chat, $2 single shot brass barrel 40 max. <laughs> oh, I, I guess that would hit pretty hard. I, I, I guess that would pre hit pretty hard, yeah. So Zach was asking what should his first big boy blaster be? This is actually a really good um, conversation to have. So Zach, sound off in the chats. What you thinking about? What's your budget? What games you playing? Uh, do you think that the Mega XL Sniper you recently reviewed is a Jolt reskin? Uh, that's that's never been funny, Fiery. Thank you, Isaiah. Kind of surprised you ne we never got a true rival revolver. I mean, we kind of sort of did with the... Uh, what was that thing called? Roundhouse. Roundhouse! Finally managed to get a Pathfinder in the UK, and I love it. It's a pretty okay blaster. Probably a lot more than okay if that's the only one you can get your hands on. Favorite energy drink? Uh, it's always going to be balls, but I guess it has been, like, hidden for Crimes Against Humanity because I never can... Uh. Really want... Um, I threw to Nerf Sharpfire with all the attachments for $4. That's a good price, especially if you don't have one. Thanks for subscribing, Mr. Doge. I try to fumble to take my Flonase allergy meds. Welcome. What are your thoughts on the Nerf Zoom Zoom lands? That, that's pretty funny. Uh, Doom lands line. Ah, uh, failed potential out of 10. Really should have been much better than it was. Had a couple of bangers, but way more not bangers than bangers. We need to know the best dino nugget shape. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, round bear. I don't think I've had dino nuggets in like 25 years. 
but obviously it's Stegosaurus. Honestly, you are my new, my favorite new age nerfing content creator. Drax, of course, still around, but Coop, Germ, Nom, and I think Bobo are all gone. Have fun in someone else's. And it's fun having someone in the hobby this unhinged. Okay, Teal, I'm going to try to take that as a compliment. Uh, new age. Like, I've been doing videos for over a decade, my, my friend. My buddy. I don't know if that counts as new age. Uh, I just got me the Dart Zone DZM Outlaw that had a damage box for 10 bucks at Target. Good find, Tim. Good find. $10 Outlaw? Who cares about the box? Um, JB72, do you own a Stinger Raven? Yes, it's sun faded very badly, and that's how I got my hands on it. Uh, what else we got? I got the, the entire Duel Onslaught on my bedroom door, except for the judge that hangs above. It's a pretty easy line to collect everything from, that's for sure. Unhinged would be Blee. I would almost agree with that. Blee is pretty unhinged. That's why we love him. Doomland's long would be awesome if it wasn't the Spectre reshell. I agree, long shot WDS. I agree. David is throwing his hat in the ring saying the Pterodactyl is the best Dino Nugget shape. I'm now learning there's a lot of Dino Nugget shapes. Uh, since Walkup said Coop, here's a reminder that if you joke about recently hearing about Coop retired, Homely will ban you because Homely really hates Coop jokes. It is like a, a slight annoyance when everybody keeps bringing up Coop because uh, remember, Coop abandoned you. He left you. He's like a dad who went out for milk and never came back. Uh, thoughts on the SR-410 blaster? I don't think I know what that one is. What is the silliest thing you've done on this channel? Uh, I did an entire video where I demolished a Taco Bell Taco 12 pack. And that's it. Not even saying a word. I did that in my driveway, too. Staring down my neighbors across the street. I would like to get Blee on for the next go. Yeah, yeah if he's down, I'll do it. What are your thoughts on the Mega Mastodon? I need to do more with one, uh, Lava Tsunami Gaming. I think the Mega Mastodon is horribly underrated, and it is super fun when modified. Hey, honey, I'm home. Hey, home, I'm honey. What is my phone doing? Getting all sorts of notifications. Happy 10 years. God, what? How long did we start dating in, like, I know that's a horrible question. I know the day, but was it? Because we've been together for like, I swear, like 16 years now. <laughs> it's been forever. Yeah. No, it's literally been like 16 years, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been like 16 years. The drunk review is pretty good. I don't think it was since, it might have been actually since 2010. I'm trying to remember when exactly, because I, I went to college in 2008, 2009. I came back, started college again here, and I think we met that summer, but we didn't start dating until the summer after. Yeah, it had to be like 2010, 2011. Been together for a long time. Apes strong together. Hey, welcome. You know you did a video on a Nerf musket. What would you think of a Nerf M1 Garand with Grand Ping? Uh, Blunder, that is something that Zach, the guy who was in the Nerf musket video with me at the very beginning, has been working on for quite some time. Derek Woodson super chatted five US dollars. Do you think a drain blaster will hit harder than a three foot long brass barreled single shot 40 max? Yes, yes I do, Derek. Hi, home, I'm Lee. Ha <laughs> Uh, do you own any of the Supermax Extreme Blasters? I want a green 5k so bad. I don't think I do, JB. Oh no, boss in trouble. What do you mean I'm in trouble? How am I in trouble? What did I do? Have you got your storm, daddy? I haven't. Um, I don't know what's going on. I Like, I literally have the order from Frontline Phone. I guess I'll uh, check in through the email. Um, probably. I, I messaged, uh, I messaged Frontline, 
but yeah, I don't think they have. I'd love to actually get my hands on. Everybody keeps saying it's so good. It's the best blaster ever. I watch a Bradley Phillips video. It's the best blaster ever. And it's like, I, I won't understand that until I get my hands on one. I got a comment like two days ago where somebody was like, oh, this is just a worse Sweetheart Storm. It's like, I watched the Sweetheart Storm video. How is the inverted scales worse than the Sweetheart Storm? It hits the same. It's one third the length. It's all not 3D printed, especially the, the one that I just got, the bullpup one. That's not 3D printed at all. People are like, oh, it's like the, the freaking Sweetheart Storm's all 3D printed. Except for like the core of the blaster. Um, All right, I replied to their email. Hey, Walcom, why did air blasters go away? I actually don't know the answer to that, King Kiwi. Do you happen to know what the rarest, most coveted nerf blaster is? I, right now, it's probably the missile, the air, the, the missile arrow shooting Supermax 1500, I believe. Uh, Bobo had one. I don't know if he still has one. And I think he had, like, one of two videos on YouTube. What are your thoughts on the Barrel Break as Lava Tsunami Gaming? I love the Barrel Break. I wish they'd make an Elite version. Wolf, Wifecom is going to make the boss sleep in the studio for forgetting their anniversary. I didn't forget. I know the date. It's July 5th. I just don't know what year. Neither does she, to be fair. Uh, do you know where to get ballistic balls? Uh, right now, I don't think I do, Teal. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Saber Apex Prime? Looks really cool. If it's even half as good as the Saber M20, it's definitely worth it if you wanted a super high-end blaster. Oh, right, we we're supposed to talk about that. Zach, sound off in the comments if you're still there. Um, that being said, they are ridiculously overpriced, and they nickel and dime the absolute crap out of you. Uh, if there was an elite barrel break, except to... Oh, yeah. No, there's an elite colored barrel break, but it's not an elite barrel break. Uh, hey, walk on me again. Was wondering why a loose Firefly Plunk Ramp could be glued. Uh, Gray, you're going to have to explain how it's loose. It shouldn't be... I'm going to go grab a Firefly really quick. And I killed the Mirage. I lied, I got two. Um, so, here is this one. And it's like, it's got a little bit of wiggle to it. Like, it's more than acceptable. This is unacceptable to you. I don't know what to tell you for a $100 blaster. And then I've got this one. Which has a... Uh, Worst Werfers pump grip on it, which is way more comfortable. And this one has, again, maybe a little bit. But, yeah, it's more than acceptable. So you have to explain exactly what's going on. Did Zach abandon us? Zach asked a really good question, like, what's the high end? I don't think I ever saw the response. Oh, I thought they were talking about the old Nerf Firefly. No, 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 no. That's, that is annoying, but no, it's not the old one. Firefly or Spring Thunder? I would say the Firefly. I've never... I really liked the gimmick of the Spring Thunder. It's never felt good to me. Uh, hey, Walcom, do you know how to get short darts in the UK? Uh, yeah, you could probably just buy, like, uh, Worker Gen 3s or something online, Hip Hop. Blastertime.eu or something like that, I'm guessing. Uh, Walcom, do you like Balasong slash Butterfly Knife? Uh, no, because I had one. And as you can maybe see right on this finger, I have, you see that, you see that scar? The bite handle fell off while I was waiting for a match of League of Legends to load and nearly took my finger with it.
Boss is gone, post airsoft memes. Mama, there are foam rubber balls in the different nerf darts, typically used as some kind of paintball gun, I believe. Yeah, there are 50 cal foam paintballs. Reusable paintballs. So, um, I forgot who was asking about the uh, Firefly being loose. Oh, maybe, Joseph. Maybe. Can someone remind me who makes the Firefly? I want to see the price of them. Uh, go to Monkey Mods. They have, I think Monkey Mods has a U.S. store now. Monkey, Monkey Mods. Uh, yeah, it's us.monkeymods.com. And they have the uh, Firefly. And I, I don't know what the shipping is like. Actually, we should see right now. Let, let's find out together. Um... Here's a whole... Ooh, they rose the price a little bit. Oh, and some of them are out of stock now. So they had the Switch-colored one for 100 bucks. I guess it's sold out. Um, they do have the Unicorn Edition. Oh, it's it's more expensive because it has the magazine. I'm going to add the magazine one to cart. I'm going to go to checkout. So the thing that killed the Firefly for a lot of people was the shipping costs. But they have a US one now. So if I do this... Do that... And uh, standard delivery is free. So yeah, that's that's definitely the best way. Although they're they're out of stock of a lot of them right now. So they have the unicorn edition, which is, comes with the magazine stuff. But yeah, what else they got? Let me let me just see. Not a whole lot. So you can get the the unicorn one, which is the yellow, uh, purple, uh, white one, and. The American Foam Firefly and the Switch Firefly are both out of stock, right? What else do they have in terms of Nightingale? In stock. For about $100 for a full auto one. They don't actually sell the Swin Alien, do they? No, it's out of stock. What else we got? Worker Seagull. Rifling Swin? They, they don't actually. They have it in stock. It's only $1,250! Only. Ah, uh, chat. We need to have a stretch or a, a, a donation goal for a, a rifling swin balance V two. It's only twelve hundred dollars, chat. Come on. Or we can get the believer for twelve. Oh my god, the believer looks sick AF. Dude, the believer actually looks sick. Hold on. Oh, what is the difference? Is tag still in here? Tag buys this garbage, not I. Let me see if I can. Uh, Internet capture properties. Check that out. Look at that. Chat, like, try to tell me that's not sick. Like, the price tag makes me actually want to vomit, but that looks sick, dude. I love everything about that design right there. If you are making a 3D printed blaster and you want to know what Walcom likes, it's that. Grip guard, angled mag. Ah, I love it. I don't like that price tag. <laughs> My goodness. But it's actually in stock, which I wasn't expecting. It qualifies for free shipping. I certainly freaking hope so. This is the uh, balance. Uh, this looks like garbage in my opinion. I hate this. I don't like this at all. Um, what else do they got? They got the alien, which is way too expensive for what it is in my opinion. I mean, they're all way too expensive for what they are. And then, yeah, look at this. You can get a uh, Nightingale full auto. Just look at their products. Like, is there just a product list? Uh, need to finish my video on the little hamster. But that's coming. See all products. There it is. Uh, this is all they've got on the U.S. site right now. It's not a lot. And most of it's out of stock. Man, I want that Believer V2. Oh, that looks so cool. It'll never happen. It'll, uh, I, like, man, that looks amazing. Magazine conversion kit. They do have the Fire Rat in green. I feel like that's a little bit old hat at this point. Interesting. 
Uh, hey, Walka, what's your most lucky find in the thrift store? Ooh, uh, Ultimator's up there. Found an Ultimator once. Explorer, is that you? I know, right? Well, I, this is not Rifling Swin. This is G4. But this is an 800-something dollar blaster. Uh, I can't... The reason why you haven't seen the video on this yet, I finally did, thanks to Hawkeye. Um, really, it was a collaborative effort, Hawkeye. I think you could. I think you would agree on that. But I was missing a bushing in this blaster, I think when I got it, to be perfectly fair, I think when I got it, because this thing was like really hard to prime. And I think I mentioned that. And while it's still long, at least I can prime it now. Like it's way easier to prime. The problem is I have no seal anymore. And I've tried everything to fix the seal, I give up. So this thing doesn't fire half as good as it should and it's really inconsistent and I don't know how to fix it. I have no idea. Um. These are the O-rings that came off the uh, plunger head and they, like it shares the same ones. I don't know how I could get more of these, but here's like a really thin one. And then it comes with this one as well. So it uses two of these, as you can see the second one right there along with a... Uh, if I could get more of these exact O-rings, I might be able to fix it. Because what happened was I used a lube that came with the blaster and it was like really bad. So I tried to add, I don't know if this was it. It might've been this. It had like chunks of silicone or something in it and it completely screwed everything. So this is on hold until I can get it fixed because it fires kind of like crap. It fires between with the, uh, with 190 FPS spring, it's firing between like 120 to squibbing darts to about 160, 170. Um, and I cannot, there's no seal. There's none. And I've tried everything. I've tried E-tape, I've tried uh, Teflon tape. None. It's it. And I, I don't. I just don't know. I don't know how to fix it. I have tried everything. So unless somebody can tell me how I can get these O rings, like relatively quickly off Amazon or something, I have a whole set. I bought a whole thing of O rings, right? And none of these are even remotely close. So I have no clue what to do. I am open to suggestions because I want to finish that video, but it's gonna probably be another week at this rate. They're not proprietary, but it's all overseas stuff. So. Give us one flip cock. Dude, I have a green screen like six inches from the back of my head right now. I can't do crap, bro. Hey, Walcott, what is... Oh, we already asked that one. Walcott, what do you think of using two hobby-grade RC motors for a flywheeler? Uh, RC motors typically aren't high, high speed. They're more torquey. So you probably won't get very good uh, stuff out of them, Raisins. I don't know exactly... I, I heard the best motors in the hobby. Uh, who was talking about that recently? It was in Discord, I think. Somebody said that the Merlins are still like the best motors in the hobby because they're super fast, super torquey. What diameter are they? Like, that's the thing that's like impossible. To, like, do I have... Oh, I do. It's behind the green screen. Ah, one second. I'll grab calipers. I don't know how to shop for O-rings, but, all right, I, I figured out this thing right here, this locks it, so the thing doesn't open up and drain the battery randomly. How do you, how do you measure the diameter of something this, like, loose? I, I don't know what to do. Uh, let's say 28, no? I'd have to measure it on, like, the plunger rod, huh? Like this? We have a plunger rod here. Um, diameter. Uh, it says 31.61 millimeters. I'm sure that's more of a standard. So that's the diameter of them on a thing. So it could be 30 millimeters. Haku, stop, 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 it hurts, dude. I don't freak, I'm not a mechanist, but you know, that's not my class. My class is jester, subclass uh, video editor, I guess. Okay, 
putting it on the table is not going to help when the thing isn't even round anymore. It's not round! I just showed it's like all oh, walls. Like, I just showed you the O ring. It's like a freaking D shaped now. I'm not cutting the ring, okay? How how come like I can't just put it on this right? There's the O ring. It's on the thing, and that's what makes me wonder why it's even broken. Um, it's on the thing. It, it can't I just measure that? Wouldn't that work? Or can you just say it's probably thirty millimeter with two millimeter of stretch or something? You know what I mean? Measure the O-ring groove in the plunger. See? That's smart. That sounds pretty smart. My O-ring removal tool. Crap. I got too many cans on my desk. Um. I ain't cutting it. <laughs> Seems bad. Thirty millimeter, right? It's thirty millimeter. That's the groove. And that, I, I don't know how I would even remotely try to get the. Uh, it's, it's literally springy. Point eight. Point seven. I, I don't know how you would. Measure the thickness. Looks like 0.7. I'm always trying to find some Pandora panels. They're way more expensive than what I paid for the 60 bottles. God, I would do dirty, dirty things for a CSM Pandora box set. I don't, I only, I probably have like 30 bottles and most of them are dupes. Gosh. I do. You know, I keep those things on me. Oh, they're already rotated. God, I hope they do a CSM Pandora's box set at some point. All the bottles, all the panels. Oh. I gotta wait like three more years for the 10th anniversary of Kamen Rider build. Hey, Illinook! Nice to see you. Thanks for coming out. I joined in. I see Kamen Rider. Of course, that's how I summon you. Nobody does millimeter and decimal. You can just print a gauge. Okay. Yeah, if that's a if that's a McMaster car thing, like I again, I need two different size O-rings too. So it's like, and this is why I give up. Like I'm just gonna, I just give up. Hey, welcome. Do you know where to get Metal X Shop Pro internals? Uh, AK Blaster Mods has a bunch, Mama Luigi. Yeah, ten whole years. How long have you been doing YouTube, Illinuk? Sunday tomorrow's a new Kamen Rider episode. How useless will the Gotchard team be this week? I don't know. I saw one episode of Gotchard and hated it. That took an entire year of Kamen Rider. Can't wait till September. Woke up needs his own drive belts. I have no experience with the Mama Luigi, but yeah, I've seen AK Blaster Mod have them. Basically seems proprietary. Maybe. The soundtrack reminds me of Contra. This is, uh, what do you call it? Um, Eden, One Step from Eden. I was about to say Eden of the East. That's an anime. Uh, very good game, in my opinion. In total, 14. Dang! I think you're younger than me, too. I was out of college when I started YouTube. Do you have a Nerf Strife modding guide? I kind of do. Look up the Quincy Strife upgrade video. O-ring gauges can be purchased. Dude, I've seen pink and white Gen 3 workers, and I don't know how to get them. O-ring 023. 
What I found is like if you can find it on eBay, you can find it on Amazon most of the time. That's where I got the spacers. I can't type today. I'm I'm completely out of it. O ring zero twenty three. Is it just a bunch of rant? No, it's all the same. Oh, they don't even look remotely so. I'm not buying random. I hate this. I This is so dumb. Why is this stuff so hard? I just bought pink Gen 3s today. Was it? Don't need it. Amazon. Worker Gen... Uh, I am not seeing that. I am still not seeing it. Uh, worker arts pink. I am still not seeing them. I give up. I want to put an EOTech on my X-Shot long shot. Do you recommend I get a ripoff one or a brand name one? It's nerf. You're looking for a sight-shaped object. You're not actually going to be able to use the sight. Trust me, I, I know this. I, you don't really use sights in nerfing. At all. You really don't. Yeah, brand is like 650. I think it's more than that for the most part. That's why Hollow Sun optics exist. Walk on be like brain currently broken. Yeah, Brandon, that's about how it goes. I just off topic, what, what is your microphone and where do you get it? Uh, this is like a four-year-old uh, HyperX Quadcast S. They sell the exact same microphone without the RGB. I paid an extra $40 to have the RGB. Why? Because I'm just a little whore. I love RGB. I kind of want a different mic. I don't really like this one all that much anymore. I don't think, I never thought it sounded that great. I'd rather use my shotgun mic, but yeah. I, I think it's been a, it's been an interesting 10 years when you know that I, I people are like, well, you just measured the O-ring wall. Call. Like, I don't know. Like I, you're just stressing me out now. Let me, let me try to measure this O-ring on the table see what happens hey yeah it's literally 30 millimeter and the the thickness is like virtually impossible because it's so thin it's it's got to be like 0.7 right and then the uh the bigger boy is also 30 millimeter right Yep, it's also 30 millimeter, and its thickness is uh, 1.7. Probably doing that wrong. We should just be happy the fact that Walcom even owns calipers. And lock it down, turn it off. Because I'd really like to fix this thing, and I am out of ideas of how to fix it. I believe it's my fault, um, but like I said, I got this bottle of lubricant, and like when I put it on, it had like chunks of silicone or something in it, and it just completely, I've cleaned it, I've re-lubed it, I've done everything, I don't know how to fix it. I'm going to re-lube it one more time with the thickest liquid lubricant. The last stuff I used was slug, slug slime, and I'm going to need thicker than that, but it is way smoother to prime now that I found those bushings. There's zero seal. It's, oh, it's so close. If I could just get that seal working again and get it back up to hitting like 180, 190. But there's, there's no seal. It, it's, it's very, very upset. Oh, I've got all sorts of lube. We, we can, we can try all the lube, Illinuk. Like, yeah, this bottle just needs to go in the trash. I, I, I actually sat here and, like, shook it up. Now. Uh, I didn't get any of the Geats toys in the end, but it sucked that Tycoon's ID core was pain to get. All of the ID cores were way too expensive, Smith. 
Um, Gray does everything. I don't know why my meshes won't send, but I can show you a video of my loose Firefly pump. It's on my Reddit. I, I, I don't know what to tell you, Gray. Join the Discord. Put a post a thing in general. Oh, well, thanks for that one, Classic For Real. I've seen white or uh, pink darts with white heads on them. Uh, they was in. I, I know they exist. Uh, I have them on my Facebook, but they're in, like, Australia, so just asking for O-rings would be a pain. But, yeah, you're not wrong, Moonspice. I could just contact them. Um, hey, Walcom, I have a question. Will there be any Nerf Pro Springers? Honestly, it looks like it, Mellow. We just have to wait. Uh, Nerf, there's three new... Uh, three Pro Blasters that were leaked, right? There's three of them. And we've seen none of them, and one of them does say specifically Flywheeler, but the other two don't. So I'm assuming we will. Oh, I just got sent a thing on Facebook. I don't know what notification that is. Where do you buy your lube? I get it with like every Chinese blaster I buy. I have so many bottles of the stuff. Thoughts on the Mac Disc Dictator? So, I never finished that video. Uh, Zach and I were playing around with one. Uh, there we go. Uh, Zach and I... Freaking greens. Dude, I hate... This green screen is like two feet too short and they sell another one. And I just don't want to buy a second green screen for another $200. I love this green screen, but it's too short. Like, you can see in the bottom left corner. Like, I can't get this thing. There we go. I think that'll work. Um... What was I even talking about? The hell was I even talking about? Oh, the dictator. Uh, there's some reload tech with that thing. I don't like the holes in the stock and how you have to load it, which is why I never finished the video, but I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would. And it's one of the strongest stock blasters you could buy. I think people are buying dictators for like 20 bucks and it, they hit like 170 FPS out of the box. I hope they make a bolt action one with some Picatinny rails. Yeah, it's surprising they haven't made a bolt action. The Strife X is gone. If I'm not mistaken, it's completely gone now. I think you can buy it on Hasbro Pulse and that's it. Dude, I hate Amazon search bar. It like never worked. Yeah, it's not on Amazon anymore. It's that made by that might as well mean it's completely gone at this point. True bolt action, not a straight pull. Yeah, exactly. Like the, uh, Jupiter. Bro, the dictator is a hundred dollars in Canada. Yeah, but how much is the Canadian dollar worth to the American one? So on the smallest chance Hollywood and Hasbro making a nerf movie, you get to be brought in. Would you bring Captain Z? Green card, what kind of question is that? <laughs> it's like, if they brought me in, would you bring this other guy with you? It's like, what the heck is the point? Like, so obviously you don't want me in it. You want somebody else. It's like, what the point is asking that question, buddy? Strife gone, and Strife X is completely gone after much hype and unannounced short production run. Wow, nobody could have seen this coming. That is true, classic. That is true. Yeah, exactly. I put in my Strife X back in the box, WDS. Links to your O-rings in general. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's so many. So many people. Okay. So. That might work. I think one millimeter is actually thicker than what these O-rings are. I'm so sick of spending $9 on random things on Amazon. But thank you very much, David. Let me check the general chat. 14 pings in Discord. Uh, yeah, everybody's saying one one millimeter width. When I... Grab my calipers again. Yeah. So, I'm going to hit zero. Just so we're about as... Thing. So, I don't know how you would measure the thickness of this, right? But I can put that in there until it loosely grabs it. Okay, it's impossible to do from that angle with the left hand. These are not one millimeter. These are like half a millimeter. I mean, maybe. 
it's hard to tell because it's like 0 0.69, 0 0.73. If I hold, if I set it to one mil, yeah, before I even get to one mil, it falls out. So I don't know. This is so frustrating. Like, why do they make these things so freaking frustrating? I, I, I took, pulled it back, Hawkeye, and it still, it fell out before it hit one millimeter. Uh, hey, Walkup, as much as it hurts to see me this, I have to leave early. Congrats on the milestone, but my buddy are waiting for me to play COD 4. I mean, go play COD 4. It's just an arbitrary milestone. It doesn't really matter that much, buddy. But thank you. Thank you for showing up at all. Uh, how do you... I like how you had a made a video that you were talking about the Nerf Sniper Rifle. How's Freddy? Is he fine? Yeah, Freddy's fine. I like how you made a video that you were talking about the sniper rifle. I'm, I'm uncertain what you're talking about there, Missouri. Okay, you got a point there, Tag. So what about the bigger ones? They're also 30 millimeter, and these are... Are these also... I mean, maybe that is also what Lexar posted. Hold on. Uh... This is about two millimeter. Like you can tell it's loosely hanging onto it and it's 1.9. Maybe that's the 1.5 that, uh, or is it two, two millimeter? I don't know. I know you were into rats, but my cat just hopped in my lap begging for a hug and I just lost. Our cats don't mind the rats. Uh, Ruji will push a rat if it crawls on top of him, which they usually do. Not that I think any of our current rats have interacted with the cats like that. Um, we used to have one rat we let just free roam, uh, and she was great. Uh, yeah, he would like... They, I've literally got pictures on my phone somewhere of them sleeping, cuddled up next to each other. Uh, Taiga runs from rats. She does not like rats at all. Um, as for hurting them, they never have. Ruji will push a rat, but they've never actually hurt him. We don't let him go unsupervised, but we did have the, the one rat that just was fearless. Mechanus brain time. Measure the depth of the O-ring groove and the plunger diameter. Uh -huh. Do you have an Aeon Pro X? I apparently have one coming, but they aren't for sale anywhere around me yet, I don't think. Thank you, Tom Foolery. Much love to New Zealand as well. It's been a long time since I've heard anything from Slater. I really hope he's doing okay. Um, I, I just hope he's doing okay. It's been a long time, and I know he lives in New Zealand. Have a good night, Untalkable. On a pallet? Where do you live, Epic Pancakes? What state? As far as I know, that's all East Coast stuff. Uh, classic for reals, tipped one dollar. If Hasbro hired you to do a Nerf-related Netflix miniseries, true crime docudrama, Hulu Limited on Max, how many seconds does it take for Homely on Timeout? Take for Homely to timeout someone asking for, have you heard about Cooper Tuck? <laughs> uh, Umbro the Cryoraptor. Sorry, Sinoraptor. Congrats on 10 nerfing years. I've only been watching for a couple of years, but your videos are very informative and entertaining. Keep up the amazing work of Fleek and Foam. That's my goal. It's to be in a... In a Inf informative and entertaining. That That is my, my, sorry, my brain was in the middle of a reboot there. That's my goal. Hawkeye sent me a link. Okay, I, I will check these soon. I have so many dis Discord notifications, man. Walkout, what's the best Persona battle theme? Mass Destruction P3 Fez. That's probably the best. Still waiting for that Nerf Ball TV show. Um, Welcome. If you're in a Nerf war, who would you pick your best Nerf gun? Who would I pick my best Nerf gun? Uh, I mean, there's so many different games and velocity caps and stuff. Like, there's no way to pick a best. It depends on what the game is. Do you know about the cheaper HQG4? I have heard about it. I don't have any experience with it. The one that I have is modified. For example, this is the old priming rod. There's a new one, and it uses a completely different spring and everything like that. And Pro X I found in California. Good to know, Epic. 
That means they are on the east or the west coast. And I can check, pick up nearby, check stores nearby, and none of them have it. Cool. <laughs> uh, where can I find an? Where can you find an X-shot lock blaster in Canada? I don't know. I don't live in Canada. Hopefully, somebody else can answer it for you, though. If you were to choose a team member in a Nerf War, who would it be? Probably Zack, because he's tiny, fast, and efficient, and, like, deadly. Because Zack is, like, I, I, he's shorter than me, and I'm, like, 5'9". And he's super thin. He's impossible to fight against. He's literally the best. Um, He would actively, if he were to be able to go to, like, Ragfest or something, I should try to drag him with me next time I go. And he'd play against, like, he'd be toe-to-toe -to -toe with those Singapore guys. Absolutely. He, he nerfs better with a hangover than I do after, like, three Red Bulls. I think the only thing I'm good at in nerf is my accuracy. I'm, I'm really good at, like, landing hits, mostly because that's just how I play the game. Obviously, I don't move very fast, and I'm a huge target. Thankfully, most of my weight is forward and not wide. I'm not that wide. Like, my shoulders don't go past my stomach, you know what I mean? Now, sideways, I'm thick as heck, so it's pointless. And I have a hand kill butt, as I've been told. I'm in the Rainier Beach area, and nine of my stores have the thing. I'm tempted to go to Canada just to toy hunt. Rainier Beach? Homely's like, I'm just big. <laughs> I'm just a beast! I'm homely! Uh, Walcom, how fast is Flywheel? Uh, fl fast. Very fast. 3D print a new yo ring on a TPU. Damn it, I need TPU. <laughs> That's the rubbery filament. I'm currently printing stuff on my printer. Uh, I got... This is hardware. This is like 10 pounds of hardware. <laughs> um, this is your spoiler. That's magnetically attached. Hold on, hold on. And we also got custom PCBs. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. Um, I guess your other spoiler. Not a gamer driver that's currently. <laughs> that's awesome as hell. Yeah. By the way, if anybody has a working Maximum Mighty X Gashat, uh, I'm in the market for one because mine doesn't work. Uh, here's your other thing. I've got everything printed out. I'm printing out some fixed parts right now. Hey! Taking donations of rolls of filament because I've burnt through quite a bit in the last week. Give me a second. We got to do this on camera. It's too long. All right. Why am I doing driver? Got to do the thing. Ow! Just ripped out a bunch of my hair. Cool. Um, I guess we're just going to have to turn off the, try to do this, webcam, filters, edit filters, bam! Oh, I guess we could, yeah, uh, I don't want to be on like a random green screen because somebody will take that. Hey, check that out. All right. This is a thing. This is also a thing. This thing goes into this. It's like so quiet, I don't think you can even hear it. Yeah, you literally can't even hear it. Yeah. 
It's so dark, and there's a glare. Darn it! So I really love Gashats. They are, like, the coolest of any of the common Rider things. I just... These things are so much fun. I love these more than any other gimmick. Yeah, you can't even hear it. I don't know why. I can turn off my, uh, thing, but... I love the fact they make a sound, like, when you close it and pull them out, it makes a sound. I just, that's so cool. It's the best. All right, let's, let's fix the stream now. I'm glad they're bringing back a lot of them. Uh, makes me very happy. Uh, cause when I bought them, they were so expensive and I had to have them. But my, uh, my Maximum Mighty X, the, uh, I, it doesn't work right. And it's it's really upsetting. I know you can buy a new set. I don't want to buy a whole new set because one's... It's the switch on the side. I, I, dude, it, I, I took it apart. Um, it's the switch on the side. It's a little tiny switch that when you put the uh, Hyper Buteki Gashat on, it, it registers that. And, like, they sync together and everything. It's just a micro switch. For some reason, that micro switch apparently doesn't work. But I took a multimeter to it the other day. And it, the switch works. So I don't know what the problem is. I have no idea. I took a Gashat this morning while I lose my mod privs. No, it wasn't the music. I, I could see it. Like, it just doesn't. Well, that worked. I think. Huh. That worked that time. This is the coolest one, in my opinion. <laughs> Let's chrome key out. This is Mighty Brothers Double X. So it's, a, it's double. See? I love X Aid. It's so bad, but I love it. And these are just the coolest gimmicks. I, I just think they look cool and they, they function well. I like how they make a sound when you plug them in, they make a sound when you take them out. Ugh. Is it a good show? No, it's awful. <laughs> hey, Anthony, nice to see you in the chat. Yeah, I, that's the thing. It's like, I don't know how to fix it. It's really, it's really upsetting. Hold on one second. Same thing with the, uh, my drive driver is that it doesn't, it's not working. But so this one has this little attachment on the side, right? Uh, over here. And so when it's in the belt, you're supposed to take this one and put it on. And it's supposed to register that. And it doesn't. But the switch has continuity. I checked last night. So I don't know what the problem is. Why is this not playing with it? Why did... Huh. Well, this thing completely stopped working on me. I literally just tested this. But yeah, this should... This should do a thing when you plug it in. And it don't. And it's upsetting me. And I don't want to buy a whole new thing just because of that. I have every retail Gashat except the dual gear. Yeah, I, I don't have that one either, but to be fair, I didn't really like it. I'm doing okay. I slept most of the day, of course. Uh, I'm all hyped up on energy drink and Mucinex and Flonays. Thoughts on Kamen Rider Double? Yeah, it's good. Very good. Love Kamen Rider Double. I believe that is the wife's favorite common writer. She also like O's a lot. My favorite's build. Uh, second place is probably Geats. God, Geats is so good. Post the loose pump in Discord. Let's see where. Nerf stuff. Where did you post it? Oh my God! Look at all the stuff, Oma. Oh, you even have the full, full bottle. Oh, 
I need it so bad. And you have uh, genius. I don't have that either. Where the heck did you post it? I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. I do dirty things for that collection. Hey, Perry. Sue Perry. Where the heck did you post that? I, Nerf Mod Help, maybe? Oh, okay. Oh. Tighten your screws. That's got to be the issue. I had to mute it, but yeah, I, I would say tighten your screws. You have to really crank them down. You might have used the wrong screws, too. It takes the longest screws. I did a whole video of building a Firefly, so. Uh, Jamie says, do you prefer store-bought blasters or 3D printed blasters? It's rough. I, they're, they're equal things. They're different things, Jamie. Oh my, I'm so upset. I wanted a full, full bottle and they were like $14 on Amazon and then I didn't get it. And then they were like $200. Flywheeler Springer? Ooh, I like flywheelers. It really depends. Walk up, do you know if the wrecked jury is supposed to be compatible with Crossman CO2 cartridges? I don't know why not. 12 gram cartridge is 12 gram cartridge. It shouldn't be any different. Uh, Missouri, how come you hated the designs of the Nerf gun even though it's ugly? Okay, Missouri, I'm sorry. Your English is very hard to follow. I understand that might not be your first language. It is incredibly difficult to answer your questions because they're nonsensical. Uh, how long did Arizona... How long ago did Arizona get 450 FPS on dual brushless hurricane? Oh, God. Arizona had like a six flywheel monstrosity to point two. Um, I don't know. It's been a while. It, it, like flywheels are still like almost stagnant. Just ordered my Viper Custom. Be looking forward to using it for my cosplay. I have no idea what you're talking about, Penguin. Do I have a plan? Asks Copperhead. Uh, yes, I always have a plan. Clearly. What, what didn't work about it, Midnight? Because I'm pretty sure I used Crossman cartridges in my video. I'd be a lot more interested in flywheelers if more of them had more fun mechanisms, like the magpie. Yeah, but the magpie never really worked all that well. <laughs> That's the problem. Have a good night, Gray. Yeah, look, use the longest sp screws. I'm pretty sure the longest screws are the ones that go in the grip. I have a feeling like you didn't crank them down or you didn't use the long screws. How come you hated the design? I have no idea what blast you're referring to, Missouri. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Am I dumb? I might be dumb. Boom. Trans steam? I don't have one of those either. Have you seen any of Roboman stuff? He machined in Bellers and Truckularly. I have seen, yeah, I don't own any Roboman anything, I don't think, but I've seen some of his stuff. He's been a hobby for a long time. I hate allergies. Can you put a worker, stri st worker scar on a strife with 3S LiPo? As far as I know, no. Uh, scars and flywheels don't mix. <laughs> you use the Umarex cartridges in your review. The cartridges hiss, but when I try to fire it, it doesn't... And it tried to tighten the cartridge leak. That's weird. I mean, Umarex is Crossman. 
But I'm pretty sure I have crossman cartridges and they work just fine, so I have no idea. I'm sorry, I wish I could help more. What is the first mod you would do for a stampede? Uh, garbage. Stampedes are really hard to mod. Uh, I have struggled modding stampedes in the past, even with drop-in kits that just never worked right. I don't know if I get named the shotgun of the Nerf Elite 2.0 thing you made a video about. I assume you're talking about the Warden? B cars and flywheel mix, but the B car has to be tall, close to flywheels. Yeah, Ty, you're right. Um, then again, like, there's like two flywheeler blasters I know of that use B cars right now. Oh, I picked this up yesterday. Yeah! You all know what this is. Oh, look at that, how perfect that grip is. Oh, so perfect. It was in a bag with a pink crush. I almost didn't get it. I just looked at it and went, hold on, that's a star shot. And so I bought the bag and I'm like, look, look, all I want is this one blaster. I bought the $5 bag or whatever it was and just donated the rest of the blasters. There was also a, uh, there was a pink crush and like one of the newer jolts, the nanos or whatever they're called. And then like some X shot little jolt thing. This was all I wanted. Oh, so good. So perfect. One of the best. Are you eyeing that X shot blaster corn? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I think everybody wants the blaster corn, though. Opinions on the Mega Mastodon. I think it's horribly underrated, Kingston. Bring rat I know, right? Like, why is this design so perfect, Nerf? Like, you just made it perfect the first time. It's flawless. So, you should do more of this. It doesn't have to be this color scheme. You can make it something more gender neutral, I guess. But the actual design is, like, perfect. Why is it so hard for them to just make good stuff? If every single Nightfinder reshell was this, I'd be happy. And this is what this is. This is a Fire Strike reshell, essentially. It had crossbow arms. That's what plugged in at the front right here. You never find them. But yeah, this is the star shot from the line. It's like, it's perfect. I'm waiting on my Splash Driver. Yeah, I don't have one of those either. I'll have to try to buy a lot from somebody in the future. Or if you ever want to sell yours, let me know. I don't like the look of the Warden. I think the Rough Cut was a better looking design. But the Warden was, when it worked, uh, a little bit better because it was less jammy. And then it broke. <laughs> Found a rival chaos at Goodwill. I only find the blasters I want when I can't buy them. I think I might be cursed. How much was it, Rohirrim? Do you still buy the chaos magazines? I bought like 10 of them. I think they're five bucks a piece. No, they're not on Amazon anymore. Oof. Come one more time. Nerf rival chaos? Nerf rival chaos mag? Nope, uh, but I have I have a bunch, so. The Warden was more reliable until it wasn't. <laughs> this is Smith. I think it was less than 10. Oh, Rohirin. Did it have a mag? The mag alone is worth 10. Uh, USS Missouri, watch my video and you'll answer your question. Favorite JoJo character, uh, Josuke. Found a regulator the day before. Any regulator that's 10 bucks I'd buy. Man, that sucks. Yeah, I would buy a $10 complete chaos right now. 
build is going to be the last line to collect just because I'm burnt out of Reiwa. Um, but I eventually go and get a CSM Ryuki and Kabuto. I want a CSM Kabuto, Zector. I really do. If I buy, I'm going to buy another CSM. I want the Blay Rouser, Blay Buckle, but it's like 600 bucks though. I, I don't have that kind of scratch for a belt. Classic for reals tipped 20 ducats. Anyways, hope to send you a bunch of stuff, including new stuff I'm offering to print in time for a 10 year, but since I'm too lazy, use $20 instead. Been watching since 17. Look forward to streams literally every week. Thank you, Classic. Thank you so freaking much. Are you going to do more videos on The Awaken? Maybe? I don't know what else, what other videos I could do. I want to do one more where I modify the, the uh, carbine style one. But I don't know what other videos I could do. I might do a short, but I don't like doing shorts. I picked up a pair of Moto Strikes for six bucks each last week. That's a really good deal because the Moto Strike has been out of stock for a long time, I think. Nerf. I think that's another one that's like crept up there. Nerf Motos. Am I wrong? Oh, never mind. They're 50 bucks on Amazon. I thought they went out of print. That's a blaster nobody really talked about. Like, it, it was too little too late it fell. So my YouTube would like updated on me or something. I like the stream, but I don't know where they move the button. Actually, that's a good point. What's my stream like camp? We have 97 people watching. Our lowest watch count was like 84, and yet there's only 91 likes. Oh, it just doubled in likes. King Kavosha has been a member for 39 months. I wonder how many people here remember back in the garage days of this channel. I know, right? Now we're in a slightly better garage that's only slightly better climate controlled. I needed a Mata Moto strike and I never did. Literally, bro, you're in. Literally. You should announce in only foam <laughs> at your 1,000th vid. My video count's kind of dumb, because, like, how, how many of those are, like, shorts and stuff? Well, I guess I've only done, like, seven shorts, but yeah. Did you say the new Deadpool takedown? Yes. Yes, I did. Hey, Cooley! Cooley's an OG. I don't think they do content anymore, but yeah, Cooley's been around for a long time. How's the burbs, Cooley? You still have some, right? I still have rats. You gotta still have birds. That's how well. That's how it goes. Yeah, my bird is on my shoulder. Oh, that's awesome. I found a stampede on eBay for like 25 bucks. God, I have so many stampedes. I have so many stampedes. I have a box of stampedes. I have a box of uh, Vulcans. I got a box of rapid strikes. Where's the HG, G, uh, HQ G4 video, Walrus? Uh, as soon as I can figure out how to fix the seal on it, I'll do a video on it because the seal is completely non-existent. Like there is none. It, it fires like garbage. Um, I used the lube that came with the blaster, and it was bad lube, and it messed up the O-rings, I think. And that was what we talked about for a while on the stream, was like, how the heck do we fix this? Cooley was the first Nemesis vid, that is true. In my opinion, you should keep all the firing segments. So, I'm going to truncate the, the chronograph stuff. I, to basically like seven seconds. There's still going to be B-roll of me testing it, but I'm just going to have the page with all the, the numbers on it and then voice over it. And then we'll do, I'm going to truncate the firing footage a little bit. 
I'm going to try to get it to like a minute maximum. Minute, minute and a half. I, I'm serious. Like every single video, the second I switch to like chronograph footage, the, the view goes like, you know, because it always steadily goes down. But the second I do firing footage, it drops off like anywhere from 6 to like 14%. Walmart is starting to clear its everything. Looks like they're getting to release the N-Series soon. Yeah, I went to my local Walmart and there was like nothing on the shelves. Hey, Ultra Zeus. Weird, I always watch the firing footage. That's what I thought. So I actually see the blaster in use. Again, that's what I thought. Hello, David Doss. I am here. Are you going to make a video on the Nerf Fortnite Primal? Uh, I found one of those at Goodwill and I hated it. Aaron, the store is Storm Scout. No, probably not, Blake. Unless I knew those videos would get like 30, 40,000 views, I wouldn't even bother because I'm not going to like those blasters. Are you still big on the Ultra 2? I would agree, yeah. I, I think the Ultra 2 is a great blaster. Um... I, I would, I should use my modded one a little bit more. The problem is it uses full-length darts or altered darts, and those aren't really in vogue anymore. I don't think there is a short dart, like, Ultra 2. I don't, I don't even know if that's possible. I'm going to do some experiments, Lexar. Like, for the firing footage and stuff, I'm going to do some experiments. But the chronographing, I liked it. Because it kind of felt like, ran, like, oh, and I tried to make it short. Like, obviously, I've been doing a lot of editing and stuff to make it good. But, yeah, there's a lot of people. I'm going to swap it. Uh, I might just do, like, cut to firing footage. And then, like, I, you know, talk over Freddy. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I have some ideas. I've been kind of in a rut. That's why I was asking. Because consistently, I lose a lot of viewers every single time I cut away from me. Which is really weird. Would love to see a Rebel series overview. Uh, uh, I'd have to find most of the Rebel Blasters, and that's a challenge. eBay Infinite Prometheus Centurion Moto Strike, and it's $230 and a lot. That's a lot. Probably shipping, too. Shipping would be more than that, I would feel. What about firing footage in the corner while continuing to talk about the blaster? I don't know if I want to go that route. Um... My thought is I'm going to do really quick chronograph results while having B-roll of me shooting the chronograph, but I'm going to make it like 10, 15 seconds max, and then I'm going to cut to the firing footage, and I'll just try to make that as nicely edited as I can. Um, that's consistently the hardest part of editing the video, because I have multiple cameras and I have to line things. And you can tell if you've been watching my videos, I've been changing things. I really liked how the firing footage worked for the musket with the, like, just the, the, the portrait... Uh, target on the right, not the firing, like the, the actual recording, but the portrait target footage and you and the sync to the cameras. I thought that worked well, um, but that the average watch the view duration on that video is actually incredibly low, and most people click off the second I swap to firing footage. Uh, Toucan, it would be the jolt. See, I, I have tried that, Brickasaurus. I don't think that worked well for me, though. That's why I... I, I want to have dedicated firing footage. I just don't understand people. I'm going to try a couple of different things, Jakey. Because I do try to aim for a 10 to 12 minute runtime for every video. So a lot of people are like, well, why don't you make your video shorter? Like, oh, I don't like long videos, blah, blah, The problem is, is that if you don't make an eight-minute long video, it's not about YouTube paying me more for having more ads, even though I, it's all automatic now anyway. The problem is YouTube doesn't promote the video if they aren't making money off of it. Like, does that not make sense? So I have to try to get, like, a 10 to 12-minute long video for YouTube to even put it out there to other people. Every single video I've done under eight minutes has failed miserably. Uh, my... Sometimes it's really frustrating because I like put a ton of work into a short, concise video and the average watch duration is like two minutes. I'm like, it seems like no matter what I do, I'm going to get this amount of watch duration. So 
If I put a 17 minute, vid uh, minute long video out there, it gets more views even though the watch duration is barely any better. And I just don't know what to do. I'm not trying to waste your time. I'm not. I want to try to aim for every video to be 10 to 12 minutes. That's my goal. Sometimes it takes longer. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. Sometimes there's not enough stuff to talk about. You know what I mean? Like Coop did his whole uh, video on uh, and, uh, Zombie Strike, right? He did that in like 35 minutes. Why didn't? I, why is mine two hours long? Specifically because I wanted to cover the history and my opinions on every single blaster, which Coop did not do. But I already got comments from people saying like, why watch this when you can just watch Coop's? This is way better. It's like, he doesn't tell you anything. He's like, here's the blaster. It does this. Here's firing footage for 10 seconds. Here's the blaster. It does this. If that's all you want to see, watch this video. That's fine. I don't care. That's not going to offend me. I think you have, like, you just don't care. That's fine. I That doesn't matter to me. I put my heart into that video. And honestly, it paid off in spades. That video has made a lot of money. And it's, I'm really happy with it. Could it have been better? Yeah, it could have. But that's going to be for every video. And I worked on that for... The editing is probably like 40, 50 hours alone in that video. And it probably doesn't even look like it because it just took me so long to figure everything out. Um, do you have any O-rings to fix the... Welcome, do you have any O-rings? No, that's what we were talking about earlier, Demon Crusher. We were trying to figure out what O-rings they were. Uh, best close range weapon, sock or handful of darts. Most places won't let you use uh, handfuls of darts. They just don't let you throw darts. So socks. Love the musket video. Did a good job on it. It's getting views, which is really cool, but people are not watching it for very long. Now the average YouTube video, especially ones being pushed by the algorithm, are rapidly approaching even exceeding the length of literal MCU movie. Yeah. So that's the weirdest part. Um, YouTube doesn't help you if you make like a 10 to 15 minute long video. If you make a 45 minute to an hour long video, they promote the hell out of it. If you make a 30 to 60 second video, they promote the hell out of it. It's that in between that's like practically dead now. What's your next review on? Uh, next review will be the Mirage, which I will hopefully have out tomorrow. Um, then we're going to probably do... I have to finish the hamster video, which has consistently been the hardest video I've ever worked on. Because uh, that's, again, that's like a four minute long video. I'm going to do my best. I have filmed it four or five times now. I'm, I do that with every video now and it pisses me off because I actually care about my work. And when I'm not happy, I know you guys aren't going to be happy. It sucks. Um, I'm going to hopefully get that out Monday and then I should have my Aeon Pro or my Nexus Pro X in on Monday. I'm going to try to put that out for, uh, like Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, maybe Tuesday if I want to really speed run it. But I have like three sponsors coming up and I got to figure out, like, I wish they would send me the stuff already because I accepted a bunch of sponsors and none of them have sent me the stuff yet. It's like, I have all these videos I want to do, and it's better to put, like, a sponsor in with, like, a new review. We'll find it. We'll figure it out. Um, but I have the G4, I have the Hamster, I have the Mirage, the Aeon Nexus Pro X. Both of the Nexus and Aeon Pro X are coming from Upquintic. So thank you very much for that, Upquintic. I'm going to have those out next week for sure. Uh, what else do I have? I have a lot of... The, the, 19, the, the 1942 LeBlaster, the Trigger... It's just called the trigger. Uh, those are both Bobo innovations. You need to get those out. Um, I have a, that fully maxed out video on like the uh, the Bizey, the S100S. Uh, or the 100S. I don't know. I think it's called the 100S. I have that thing completely decked out. It's hitting like or 310 FPS. And I was actually disappointed in that. And it's like a pinky prime. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff. I got to do video. I filmed it, the unboxing of the and review of the uh, Demolisher Ultimate Customizer Pack. My problem is I'm just not happy with anything anymore. And I really do try to make the best possible content I can. I am not that person that could just poop out a video and be like, oh, I don't care if people don't like it. I made the video. Huh? And I don't want to be that person that's like, oh, I have to get a video out today. So I'm going to do this and do a really bad job. No, I want my videos to be good. So I genuinely try. So when you see a bad video from me, that's me attempting to make a good video. <laughs> 
Uh, Jakey McGee, what primaries do you recommend? Below 200 FPS, 150 dollars of... I think probably the Seagull would be one of your better options, Jakey. You could also look into getting a long shot and getting the metal parts for one. And, I mean, uh, what else? The Trion, maybe? The Trion's fallen a little out of vogue, though. What is the best Dart Blaster you recommend for under $50? Well, that's going to be the uh, X-Shot long shot. What do you think of the best shell ejecting rifle shotgun under $150? Um, I want to say probably the Kirin. The Kirin's under $150, right? Ah, it's 200. <laughs> uh, I took an oof. I I can try to get a rebel video. The problem is, is that I have to find all the blasters. Um, if I could get Zach to come over or someone to come over to help me look for rebel stuff, I might be able to get one done. Uh. That was like my biggest problem with the zombie strike video. I found every blaster I couldn't find after the zombie the zombie strike video. I'm so mad about it. Zach and I went through a bunch of boxes recently. We moved on from just buying Nexus Pro to just buying Longshot. Well, I mean the Longshot X could fix that. Um, I don't have one. It might be the new default. It looks really good. The only problem I have with the, the Long Shot X, or the, the Long Shot X, the uh, Nexus Pro X, is the fact that the height over bore is like three inches. What is the most powerful dart blaster? Like actual production blaster that I have right now hitting the hardest? If I were to swap out the barrel on my Mark IV, which I want to, I think I might do that. That blaster would probably hit 400 something FPS. It is ridiculous right now. I'm gonna get an outlaw tomorrow. What else should I get? Blake, the outlaw's a pretty good one. Get a second outlaw. They're really fun to dual wield. What cheap rival primaries? Uh, I honestly, if you want flywheel, you can modify the heck out of a challenger. Just put a lipo and stuff in it. Uh, I think the Mirage is really good. Uh, I don't know who else thinks about this. This is better than the Apollo ever was. This is better than the Helios. It is like the perfect rival Springer. Like, it's not pump action, and I know people... But, like, for what it is, like, it's really good. You can use a pistol style. You can fire it off the hip. It's got slam fire. Like, this thing's awesome. Uh, my only issue is, like, this mag release. I, like... Is that acceptable for a mag release? I don't know. Like, I can... It's kind of a pain in the butt for me to manipulate. Um, this is good. The safety works good. The trigger's a little stiff, but it's actually a pivoting trigger, which I happen to like a lot. Um, I ha don't have the largest hands, and you can see I can grip it just fine. Um, I really like it. The sights are goofy. They call this a front sight, right? But you can see the, the spoke is pointing downwards. That's not how sights work. That, that's, that's not how sights work. And also, you can see my catch is, like, offset or something. I don't know what that's about, but it works fine. It's a little, like, it's not the smoothest, it's smooth, it's tough. Also, the Challenger mag technically works with this blaster. But if you put it in, it's, like, impossible to take back out. I don't know what that was about either. But, yeah, I honestly think this is, like, if you just wanted a rival whatever, this is perfect. I really like, I don't know why everybody just pooped all over this thing before it was even out. I thought I was really excited for it and I'm actually really happy I got one. That was sent to me by Ether. Mirage or Kronos? So, I don't know. Uh, I want to see bots actually like already got one of these shooting short darts and had like 150 FPS. Really, I think there's, there's a lot of room for that thing to be turned into a magazine fed rival or a short dart primary. Because like, if you were to Dremel this out and fill it up, like, it would... St the grip is technically bigger than a half dart mag. And if you were using... If you were using Nightingale mags, I bet you you wouldn't even have to. I bet you Nightingale mags would work perfectly. Yeah, that's a thought. Oh, that mag... Like, can you guys hear that? Like... 
Is that not, like, amazing for a nerf? So good. Seriously, Mirage is for 20 bucks. I think the Mirage is really good. So I think, I, I said it in my video, although I have to refilm it. I think a stock that attaches on this rail, like a, like a, it just goes up and has a flat point like that. If you could make that like reinforced, I think that would be the best stock for this thing. I'd love a pump action. <sighs> Do you think the work of prophecy is still a viable option? Yes and no. If you could get one for cheap with all the stuff you need to modify, yes. But they used to be like $200 for all the parts to get one hitting like 200, 250. And I don't think that's worth it now. Like, there's nothing wrong with Prophecy. It's just that, like, you're taking an existing platform that was never that efficient and trying to make it better. And that's the, the, that's the disconnect. Thank you, Master ba Bakla. Uh, this song is uh, from Octopath Traveler. It's the battle theme. I can't believe I didn't remember that. I stopped using uh, pretzel rocks and stuff because all of my videos were getting claimed and I'm tired of it. Paused it. I think the Nexus Pro X is going to take over. I, I definitely want to see it. I'm excited. I really am. Uh, I don't like the form factor that much, but yeah. From what I've seen, because uh, Abquintic spoiled me on a bunch of stuff about it, it's super smooth, nice, nice light prime, really good performance, B-car, it, it tickles all the boxes. I think it might be Dart Zone's first win in a while. Oh, and I got that an LMG I have to build. So many boxes. It's going to be busy. That's why I'm trying to get sponsors right now. I have all this content sponsors. I was debating on getting... I don't really like... God, why did that get... Can make that kind of offset, though? That's good. Um, I'm trying to find a, di uh, a theme in Streamlabs that I like. And I don't like any of them. The original one I did, which looked like a knockoff comedy club, I think was the best one. But I have tried so many different Streamlabs, and I can't, none of them sing to me. Because, like, this audio, it's just a, a, a picture. It's just a video file. It doesn't actually react to sound. And I think it's kind of distracting. If I got rid of it, like, I don't know if that's better or worse. I, I don't know. I, I I like the framing. Obviously, I can, like, you know... Why does it keep... I got Streamlabs. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really like any of them. Take it off? I mean, I... Hold on. I, uh, unlock this... Uh, you can see my stream. It's almost there. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, that, that helps. I don't really like these, uh, boxes. Dude, Streamlabs is so bad. I never even clicked on it, and I clicked once, and it dragged in. It's like, what the heck? Um, what is that? Is it I have all this stuff locked so I don't accidentally grab it. Okay. I should have actually done this live so you guys could tell me if you like it or not. Got our, we got our vibe rat. Um, yeah, the uh, latest follower and subscriber boxes are... I, I don't know if I like those. I mean, I could get rid of them. Dude. Streamlabs, you, you suck butthole sometimes, bro.
Oh, come on. How am I supposed to grab the out? Oh, my God. I'm not. The mouth. I'm not holding it. Why? Why are you locked? <laughs> Something like that. Is that better? How are we feeling? Has that rat been in the corner the whole time? It's been on, like, every stream for, like, the past three, four months. It's my pointer rat, so I can grab it and, like, point to stuff on the screen when it doesn't capture my mouse cursor. Uh, is the cure a good primary? It is amazing. I need to do my video on it. I'm really sorry I haven't. Um, they are really good. I just feel like it's been, like, a year and a half or something like that. I feel stupid doing a video on a blaster that old. Like, oh, it's a new thing. I was really late getting one, and then I was holding out for my collective, my special one, and my special one had so many problems. Both the new PXs are absolute wins. When the reviews pop up, you can be told the reviewers are bought off. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, wait, I'm one of those reviewers. No! So that's better. You guys like that as opposed to having the... Yeah, okay. Might be able to make the chat big. I'm still gonna. <laughs> That's better. I didn't need to do that. I'm fine with this. I'm still gonna have the chat in the background, but yeah, we can do this. I'm fine with this. I want, I have, there's two things I want really bad I don't have the budget for right now. I want the Elgato green screen XL. Because it's like two and a half feet wider. I am so sick. This thing is literally, I'm touching the green screen right now. It is close. I cannot lean back in my chair at all. I touch, I push the green screen back. So like I have this thing touching the back of my chair. Because it's just not wide enough. There's no way. They make one that's about two feet wider and solve all those problems. And I want the Elgato uh, prompter, which is like 300 something dollars. But if I had the prompter, I could mount it above my monitor and I could also use it obviously for my main videos, but I could like be staring at the camera, reading chat and everything like that. I wouldn't have to be staring offset. I kind of like this cause like I'm looking towards the chat that's behind me. If that makes any sense. I don't know how that, do you guys prefer this? And me glancing and reading chat. Like, I try to do that when I'm directly trying to talk to a specific person. But, yeah, I usually sit like this because I can read the chat and everything. Do you recommend shell ejecting blasters? They can be a lot of fun. They're definitely not optimal. Elgato prompter is 300 bucks and it's a completely closed thing. The problem is it's 300 something dollars. I don't even think they're on Amazon. Like, I can't even, like, not that my Amazon affiliate thing is. I usually use that on, uh, filament. Oh, the prompter is on Amazon now. Oh. Ooh, there's a new, there's a new Elgato stream deck. Oh, I like that. The new Elgato Stream Deck has knobs to control your volumes and stuff like that. While having the the actual Stream Deck buttons, that's pretty. I don't know if it's $178. Maybe it allows you to plug multiple sources in. But yeah, the prompter is on Amazon. Imports from Japan. Okay, so it's not... I don't know why they don't actually put it on Amazon. Uh, Joseph with the $10, the 10 pound super chat or 10 euro. I don't know. Hey, Walcott, why are your mods repeatedly putting me in timeout? Enjoy the money, love the work. I don't know, Joseph. What are you doing wrong? Who's, who's constantly putting Joseph and why? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But thank you very much for the $10 dollar, dollar pound. Thank you for the $10 pound super chat. You should try flipping yourself on the vertical time not, not being able to see the chat wall. Okay, well that I can't fix. I'm not gonna put it backwards, because then like you couldn't read this bottle of super That'd be annoying. 
Um, I'm sorry you can't see the chat wall, but it's not the primary thing of the stream now, is it? Should be happy there is one. There's so many streamers that don't even have that. I think it's fun having it in the background, Mike. That's just me. Can you flip the camera? I can do a lot of things. I just don't want to. Has your opinion on the hammer shot changed, Walcom? Did we actually get disconnected again? <laughs> I'm like trying to see if uh, it's, it's, it's working right now. I wonder what causes that. I don't know why it does that. It's so weird that's been a problem for years. It went away and then it came back with a vengeance and I have no idea what's causing it. And I'm hungry. I don't know how much longer we'll go because I'm real. Is the X-Shot Ragefire a fun blaster? Yes. Yes, it is. Fun is definitely what the Ragefire is for. I want to do another video on this. Because I have like six of them. Uh, classic, I don't know what they did wrong. General Welterweight Edgelordness. Okay, well, don't be an Edgelord. Problem solved. Welcome, what's your favorite food? Sushi. And I never get to have it because it's way too expensive. God, it's been... What was the last time we had sushi? I might have had like a like a Safeway sushi recently. But it's been a while even for that because it's like like 8 to 14 bucks a pop. Um, Last time I went to like Trapper's All You Can Eat. Oh man, it's been like, I think December. It's been a while. <sighs> I guess I'm cooking dinner tonight. It's going to be seafood fettuccine, which is just shrimp and imitation crab, pesto, fettuccine meat. I'm real. No. <laughs> Twin rage fire shoulder cannon. So I'd want to make, I, I was going to do the thumbnail first and I was going to make myself look like heavy arms, but I wanted, I have like a four of them. I want to put together into a four mini gun thing. We'll see. Upstate New York sushi is two times, man. Like sushi in Japan is ridiculously cheap. But in the U.S., it is so freaking expensive. I, like, I live in, like, Puget Sound, Washington. Like, there's ocean all around me. And, like, going to the store and buying just grocery store sushi, which isn't even that good, is, like, six to eight bucks for, like, a, a single little California roll. Um, Trappers is, like, 35 bucks a person. But it's all you can eat. And they make, like, deep fried rolls and everything you can imagine. Um, there's a couple of other places. I went to, like, Sumo in Tacoma a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago. A couple of months ago. Maybe that's where we went. Um, that was good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this always says it's a lot of work not to cook fish. I agree. All the Nerf blasters at my Walmart are literally on clearance. That's, yeah, I noticed a lot of them were on clearance at mine, too, but it was also all empty. Favorite rival of all time asks Jeriah. What is my favorite rival? I really like the Jupiter. Really like the knockout for obvious reasons. I really like the pilot for even more obvious reasons. I got a couple of videos. I have to do a video on the, the Jupiter because I don't think I have. And I have to do a video on the Hypnos, which I only recently got. Saturn, Saturn is up there. I don't know if the Saturn is my favorite, but it's up there. 
I need to get a new pump grip for one. Uh, I don't know Walcom lore, so I want to ask. Got any, had any pets? Uh, we have two cats and six rats. 80s. The hell is the Hades? Oh, the big white uh, triple or quad cylinder thing. Yeah, I like the Hades. I don't think I've done a video on that either. And I have two of them now. Plus an inbox one. Sushi and Renton is stupidly expensive. Find hearts on the grade. I'm about 10 minutes away. So I went to... Uh, I went to... Sumo in Tacoma. Uh, I don't like Tacoma. I don't think a lot of people. Like it. But I went to Sumo Sushi or something in Tacoma. And it was very good. And I think it was like $35 a person as well. Um, I'd like to... I, I, man... I need some sponsors so I can go take the wife out for a date. I, we might go to like, uh, and we were just talking about, it. I think next weekend we're going to go to, uh, uh, round one in South Hill Mall. I got some initial D and rhythm games to play. And I think there's like an alpaca she wants for one of the machines there. You keep bringing up the Elgato, but have you asked your rats and cats what they think? <laughs> Just got a Prometheus for Christmas. Got it on sale for like 80 at a retail shop. Prometheus is really good. I'd love to see more tag packs. Okay, Brigosaurus, I know you're a level-headed uh, gentleman. I just did a two-hour long, essentially, tag back movie. That wasn't good enough? Or is it just like, it didn't say tag back, therefore... <laughs> oh, Syntax, this is Redial from Bomberman Hero. Yeah, this is Redial. It's one of my favorite songs. I have this, this is like just, because I, what, Bomberman Hero, I played that when it was like seven, eight, something like that. When did Bomberman Hero come out? It might be my favorite Bomberman. I don't know, it's different, but it's really fun. I think Generations was trying to be like Hero, and I thought Generations was pretty weak, even as a kid. Uh, 98, yeah. This is seriously one of my favorite. I should have a physical copy of this. I had one. I I love it. I, I think Bomberman Hero is one of the better ones. There's so many good games locked to the 64 that nobody ever talks about. Both of the Mystical Ninjas for the uh, 64 are amazing. I've only played Bomberman 64 and Bomberman Hero. I've never played the second attack. I don't know... Like, I know that's one of the most expensive games, but I think even this game is, like, $200 now. Uh, apparently 37 Is that an actual physical copy? What? This is, like, a complete copy of Bomberman Hero. For $37. Somebody's going to buy that before I can even figure out if I can afford that. Man, if somebody loves me, that would show up in my PO box. <laughs> I don't even think I have an N64 right now. I don't think the wife is watching. I don't remember if we have an N64 right now. I used to have a bunch of them. Play Bomberman Reloaded. Is that the PC game? That's like free and has like a billion characters? Oh, here's another Bomberman. Yeah, I'm not, I think I know what Bomberman Reloaded is, but... Random question, do you feel that Elite 2.0 has been slightly redeemed with the Storm Charge Double Punch Mobile? It's, yeah, but it's still a crap line. Like, the problem with Elite 2.0 is you can't tell if you're getting Elite or you're getting Alpha Strike. It's like there's no win. Hey, Bolt Action. Bogue Squadron on the N64. I played the uh, GameCube version. That was the first GameCube game I got. When I got my GameCube for Christmas that year, that was the game I got. And then I got, I think it was the next year. But man, when I got Fantasy Star Online and that broadband adapter, oh. Oh. God, I love Fantasy Star Online. Oh, the wife is still here. Harvest Moon 64. <laughs> we actually do own a copy of Harvest Moon 64, I'm pretty sure, right? Right? Yeah. Didn't we buy one? Honey? We just don't have an N64, I don't think, right now. 
Is the Awake worth getting? The Awaken? It's literally my favorite blaster right now. I think Bomberman Reloaded is an Xbox original game where it'd be super gritty and legit hard. Oh, yeah! I never played that. I can tell you what I did play, though, and that was Atomic Bomberman, and that game is a trip. <laughs> I played the crap out of that game, too. Harvest Moon 64 is one of the greatest Harvest Moon games. I just got Winds of Anthros, and I'm loving it. She picked that up. Uh, I haven't seen her play it recently. She's been back into Final Fantasy XIV, but that Harvest Moon Winds of Anthros looks actually pretty good. No, we have Friends of Mineral Town. I mean, that's a pretty expensive game, right? Pretty sure that's a kind of an expensive game. It's like a $60 loose card, which is enough. Harvest Moon. Like, I had Harvest Moon 64. I gave it to a girl I liked in, like, elementary. I've done with This must be a dating or wanting to date girls. I guess I did date her for a while, but again, it's like, what is with me and girls that like Harvest Moon? It never comes up at the time. It's just like, oh, yeah, I like Harvest Moon. Oh, okay. It's like a hundred and something dollars. Damn. I think we passed up on like a $70 copy of Harvest Moon. But again, I don't think we own Heart 64. That Bomberman Hero, though. Honey, did you see that? I typed in Bomberman Hero on Amazon, and there's like a complete copy for like $37. So frustrating. Ah. Oh. Love that. It's got to be a repo, right? A reproduction? It looks like a repo. It looks brand new. I want it. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. I love Bomberman. Oh. <sighs> uh, Harvest Moon is like a beloved series for a lot of people, just like how Shantae for the GBA is like the most expensive thing on the planet. Shantae was never on the GBA. You mean uh, Shantae for the Game Boy Color? Game Boy Color game. You have a Switch with the expansion pack online. Harvest Moon 64 is on the N64 flag. Didn't know that. I don't, because that's like $50 of a year, but... Yeah. You really didn't miss much, GB72. JB72. Jables. Bomberman is known as Dino Blast here in Europe. I believe that's the name of it in uh, uh, Japan as well. The original beat em on where Bomberman plays. Fun fact. So we need to buy you an N64 in the Bomberman game? Man, I want the Bomberman game, but yeah, I don't... I, honey, we don't have a 64 right now, right? We have an NES, we have a Super Nintendo. We have a PS2. We have a backwards compatible PS3 that I need to re... Dude, I'm not ever going to turn the thing on until I redo the thermal paste. We have the PS4. I don't think we have a Nintendo 64. We might even have uh, consoles I'm forgetting. We had to pare down a lot of our stuff. Like, we have a lot of portables. Like, I have a lot of portables. <laughs> Bomberman 64 is one of the most grueling games you could ever just try to pick up and play. That game is evil. You have no... If you've never just blindly jumped into Bomberman 64, you will get completely walled by the second level. You can beat the first level in like a couple of seconds. If you want to find all the gold cards, it'll take you hours by yourself, but you will get walled by the bridge in the second level, unless you read the instruction manual. Uh, what's your opinion on GDOP's Griffin? Uh, completely superseded by the Pro Proteus, Prometheus. I don't know what they called it. He is a another one that looks better. I, I have an emulator. I probably have the ROM. I'll have to check that out, Jiraiya. Like, I've, I, we've played Harvest Moon 64. She has a ROM of it. She was just playing, uh, like, Friends of Mineral Town, like, on an emulator. Hey, Walcott, what's the best value blaster? Uh, Bobacat? That would... Why did that get deleted right there, guys? What just happened? Anyway, um, I would probably say X-Shot Long Shot, because it just does everything. It's like 30 bucks. N64 is probably my favorite console of all time. GoldenEye and the 
AQI THQ wrestling games are a huge time sink. I remember playing a lot of the wrestling. That's probably the last time I played a wrestling game. I tried to play GoldenEye within like the last 15 years and it was unplayable to me. <laughs> Such a low frame rate game. Uh, man, played so much Perfect Dark. Goemon's Great Adventure and Mr. Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon. Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon is the reason why I was not impressed with uh, uh, Ocarina of Time. Because Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon is basically the same game, but way more fun. And it's like, it's got like songs with vocals and stuff in it. Like, it's such a better game. Goemon's Great Adventure is one of the most ridiculously hard platformers. I played it within the last couple of years. Like, it, I died. I think I got a game over in the first two levels. It's so hard. <laughs> and I beat it as a kid. Um... What else? Like, there's a, there's a couple of, like, gem games for the 64, but whenever I think of the 64, I always think of Goemon's Great Adventure, Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon, Bomberman Hero, and Bomberman 64. There's others. Like, there's not even that many games for the 64, but those are the ones that I remember the most. Wind Waker was my favorite Zelda game. Wind Waker was the reason I sold my GameCube. I was that disappointed in it. It's mostly just the Triforces. We're like, okay, we gotta get the Tri- And I hated it. I hated the Triforce part of Wind Waker so much. You think we're ever gonna get Mega back? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, bro, have you ever played Mario 64 but every copy is personalized? That's a joke. Any opinion on Call of Duty? Hasn't been good since Black Ops 2. Oh, it's an actual ROM hack? Like, oh, okay, yeah. There's a Harvest Moon Switch spinoff that you can legit speedrun complete the first dialogue choice before the, even the title animation. That's interesting. I was playing ROMs with Magical Melody and Animal Parade on the Wii. <laughs> See Helldiver? I, so like last night, I was like, I was messing around. Actually, it was probably this morning. I woke up at like three o'clock this morning and couldn't go back to sleep. Which is why it's like I slept all day, because I think I went to bed at like 8.30 or so after the wife left for work. But I, I was sitting there. There's 22 people on my Steam's friends list that has Helldivers. I've never played it. I played the first one, but I like the second one didn't look that appealing to me. Even though I like third-person shooters, I couldn't figure out why everybody loves Helldivers. They're like, oh, it's fun to play with friends. It's like, if I have to have friends to play a video game, I will never play that video game. Because I'm not going to sit around and wait for all my friends to have their schedules aligned so I can play a video game with them. So I'm just like, I'm not going to spend $40 on a game. I, I want to play it, I just don't want to spend $40 on it. Like, I almost bought it last night, I just don't have, I don't have the money at all right now. Uh, this is from Granado Espada. Uh, this is Touch Me Not by Soundtemp. Soundtemp also did a lot of the songs for Ragnarok Online. What's your opinion on the Zombie Strike Scavenger? It's a good blaster, but the stock blaster that comes with the Scavenger is better than the blaster. Thoughts on the Elite 2.0 Lock and Load? I don't have it, but if it's the Shadow ECS whatever, or ICS... Six, I think it is. It's gonna be garbage. I want it for the the attachments, and that's it. It's not fun without friends. See, that's pointless to me. Thank you, ENS, BFG Nerfer. I appreciate it. I'll have a special video. I don't have to have it up today. I'll probably aim for next weekend. I'll have a... I'm going to do a video. I have two. I'm going to do a video on the uh, Diatron, which is why I have the Diatron nearby. And then I'm also going to do like an armory tour thing. But for that, I need to have Zach. I need someone to hold a camera for me. So... Do you plan on doing anything for 250k subs? I don't know. I haven't really done a lot of, like, videos about, like, oh, I hit a milestone.
What games have I been playing? I, I started playing RuneScape. I'm not very far into it. Uh, that's a game I haven't played. 2004. Um, played a lot of uh, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, which I think is actually a really good Survivor game. Uh, what else? A bunch. Actually, I say I've been playing a bunch of stuff. I don't really that much yet. Um, I cooled off on a lot of things. I haven't been playing as much. As I played a lot of RoboQuest, but I kind of finished that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just kind of in between games right now. Springers or Flywheelers? I happen to like Flywheelers, honestly. I like how f Springers don't require any, like, real maintenance, though. Oh, thank you, Nicholas. I really appreciate it. Uh, if I hit 250, I don't even know what I'm at right now. If I hit 250 when uh, Danny is around, sure. I've tried to play Seven Days to Die a couple of times. I've never been able to get into it. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't really know what I want. I, I, like I said, I was interested in Helldivers. I just don't want to spend money on it. I think there's a couple of games I want to get. I just don't have the money for right now. Um, I have a feeling this. That's the trailer for this. Adding that to my list on Steam. It's gonna be a good game. I'm excited for it. Uh, man, what am I looking for? There's a lot of games on sale. Hey, Neon White's finally on sale. Maybe I'll pick that up. Fifteen bucks. I think I can do that. Uh, Pacific Drive is on sale. I kind of want to play that. I actually really want to. Uh, I was in interested in Gigantic because that came back and people seem to be enjoying it. I might pick that up. Um, what else we got? And next time Vanquish goes on sale, I have to buy it. I have to play that. Dead Cells? I can't believe I still don't have don't want to pay in seed yeah I don't know yeah, I, yeah there's a couple games I will most likely pick up neon white but I also really want specific drive Have you ever played Dead Daisy? I have not ever played Daisy. Have I played Subnautica? Yes, I have played Subnautica. Thank you very much, David Morris. Oh, I might have turned the gain down too much. Um, are you going to do a rival bid? I think I, I have a couple of like single videos I want to put out on rival. I'm so close to just overwhelming you guys with videos. I have so many things I want to do videos on. That's a good thing to have a problem with, but. Is the Mirage and Challenger officially released in the US? Yes. Uh, the Mirage is trickling in places. It's not widespread yet, but. Um. Oh, have a good night, Blake. A game I've been wanting to play recently was Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. Uh, is that the... I I think I have that? Uh, the first one. I know there's a second one. I don't know what the second one is. But I think I have the, the first game from like a Humble Bundle or something. Been kind of thinking about playing that. I think I watched RT Game play it. Eat the mic. Eat the mic. I should actually, like, uh, mess with my equalizer settings. I haven't really played with them that much. Should tie your hair like a Viking? 
Uh, I don't know what that means. Dude, my hair is so long now. Like, look at this crap. Oh, it's wrapping around. And yeah, there we go. Got my own hair scarf. I'll probably regret doing that later. And this is all kind of curly. Like when I brush it, it's like way longer. Uh, I mean, talk about every rival blaster. I think I have every single one now, Jiraiya. Except for the Heracles. I have the shell of a Heracles. I don't have the whole blaster right now. Can you please put all these tracks you're using in the description? It's a live stream, my friend. Um, how can I do this to make it not be... Is there a mini player? Yeah, there is a mini player. Hold on. I might I might be able to get you something here. Give me a second. I love this song. This is a... Oh, this... It lowers the... It takes off the freaking track when I take my mouse off of it. Really? Okay, can I just make a smaller player then? That was Terror and Courage from Odin Sphere. Ooh, there we go. That's that's probably pretty okay. Let me add this as a window capture. And this is from Log Horizon, which is an anime. This is the, the, the song from Log Horizon. I can do like something like that, I guess. Uh, put it behind everything. Uh, that doesn't work. Something like that, I guess? I don't like... I really don't like that. You can fill up that space up there with it. That way I can put it down below everything so I can kind of still get in front of it. Uh, I did that with the rat. How's that? Is that better? I'll be adding more songs to this. I, I've been adding, because I did it when I did the Danny interview. So I've been adding songs to the playlist and making a stream playlist. Uh, the anime ones might get me copyright struck. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Log Horizon, uh, season one and two are great. Season three had like a 10 year gap and then it sucked butthole in my opinion. It was really boring. Uh, I need to watch more than three or four episodes on it, but I don't think anything happens in like four episodes. It really didn't seem, it didn't feel right. Maybe I have to watch all of them connected together, but yeah. Like, because like, I don't know. Log Horizon is like one of my favorite animes, but there was such a long gap between season two and season three. And season three, I watched like three or four episodes and got so bored. Nothing happens. Uh, the Deadpool takedown is on Amazon. Good to know. If you're going to buy it, use my link down in the description. Uh, not related, but has there ever been a melee nerf battle in your famous decade of nerf? Uh, usually, like, the, uh, there's, there's usually some kind of melee stuff at every nerf battle, and sometimes we do melee only. We're going to go for, I'm going to go maybe another half hour. I'm asking the wife because I really want food, but I might be able to go for another half hour.
need like a skin for Windows Media Player. <laughs> like we used to get back in the day. Should you focus your loadout on effectiveness or cosmetic? So the cool thing is, depending on what velocity cap you're playing at, the lower the velocity cap, the more things that are effective. The higher your velocity cap, the less things that are effective. It really kicks the llama's ass, Winamp. <laughs> Maybe I should download Winamp again. I used to use it a lot. Talk about the Diatron. We did. We, 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 that's what the whole first hour of the stream was. Whips, whips the llama's ass. My bad. Thank you, David. I haven't used it in 15 years. Give me a break. What's the video you had the most fun filming in the last 10 years? Man, Fallon, that's a really good freaking question. Shooting the, the Nerf Titan video with Danny was a lot of fun because that's not something I normally do. Uh... Let me, let me look back at my videos. Uh, like, I'm trying to remember. There's a bunch, especially filming with friends, that have been really good. Eat on stream. Well, I have to go cook. And that's that's not up here. It's down in the house. Everybody's like, it's whips. Not, how dare you get the win amp? It's like, I literally haven't used that program in 15 I'm sorry. Please forgive me. What happened to the Diatron? I don't want to interrupt. Ah, uh, it's just that was the first video I ever did on YouTube that was nerf related. Turn in your millennial card. Whatever. Now I'm upset. I liked Windows Media Player because it had all the cool visualizations. Man, usually I'm like, I chug entire bottles of water, but that's only when they're ice cold. When they're like room temp, they're just not as appealing. Then I got this, which I want to drink, and I'll, I might drink this later. How many, how much caffeine is in one of these? He's like 200 something. 150 milligrams. Well, that's not too bad. I might actually drink that soon. Um, I, This looks like it's had a rough life. <laughs> I don't know where this came from. Uh, was this the one that's been sitting in the fridge for like three months, honey? These are tasty. They, they really are. And then I got this Prime sitting here that... These have 300 milli... Oh, that's ca that's electrolytes. How much caffeine? 200 in one of these. Man, no wonder kids were having little heart attacks. I still have a box of this in the fridge up here I haven't drank. The raspberry stuff. Dude, the M249 video was like a 14-hour edit. That video evolved into a monstrosity. Um, if you can tolerate grapefruit at all, I think these are amazing. I really like those. Prime Yuck. I don't think it tastes that bad. I haven't had that blue raspberry one, but I drank a red one earlier, and it was pretty okay. For a dollar, like a, what is it, like 50 cents or something at my local grocery outlet? Weren't they like $100 a can back in the day? Now they're like, yeah, I could have bought like an entire pallet of Prime. Are you into VTubers? Uh, surprisingly enough, I don't pay attention to them. There's not a single VTuber I follow. I like Red Bull too. Um... I really miss the crisp apple sugar-free Red Bull. I think I can edit Luchathor into being one of the funniest people on the internet. I, I really do. Like, it, like the original cut, like, wasn't funny. But when I went back through it and added, like, all of his little mannerisms and stuff like that, I, I think that video turned out amazing. It is one of my favorite ones. Best ice cream flavor. Rick. Uh, cross between like Reese's peanut butter cup and like chocolate chip cookie dough. I've, I've had the cream soda. Oh, what? It's not, it's not rain. I don't think it's ghost. It's a different one. 
it might be C4. I think they have popsicle flavors. I saw it once and I really want to find it again. Popsicle C4. Like popsicle, the official brand. What's the progress on the Nerf M16? I'll get it done, Fire Mango. I promise you, you'll see it sometime reasonably soon. This summer, for sure. Favorite fruit? Probably pineapple. I've always been one of those strawberry pineapple people, but I really like pineapple. The problem with pineapple is you just can't eat a lot of it because it, like, does something to your mouth. Like, tenderizes your mouth. I haven't actually seen that, Andy Griff. That makes sense. Uh, favorite subatomic particle? Your mom. Dragon fruit? I've never been a fan of dragon fruit that much. It's acid burn, bro? Maybe. I think it's, uh... Graham Bennett has, like, a... It's like, I've been eating pineapple. <laughs> I just want my stuff to taste moderately okay. Is it too much to ask for my stuff? I'm obviously censoring it. To taste just okay. <laughs> Graham Bennett. Like, it's so freaking good. Favorite nerf melee weapon? Uh, that is gonna be the Marauder Sword. What was your favorite mod you've personally made? The Deleter or the Chimera Strike? Dude, I need to bring the Chimera Strike back. Uh, that is actually, I think that video was robbed. The Dislike Bomber absolutely murdered that video. And I think it's one of the coolest things. There's nothing else like it in the hobby still. Everybody like talks crap about me. He's like, Wolcom doesn't mod anymore. It's like, dude, I put like three months of work into that blaster and it got like 15K views because it had 4,000 dislikes on it in the first two minutes it was up. What's the best short dart in your opinion? Those bamboo darts I got, I don't know what brand they are. They might be worker bamboos, I'm not sure. Those are awesome. Somebody for like 18 months was like just dumping thousands of dislikes using a botnet on every video I uploaded. It was horrible. I have not had a very good YouTube time, that's for sure. Do you like the Zing 2.0? I don't have an original Zing 2.0, but I do have the the Moose ones, and Moose made a new blaster that's simpler than the Zinc. I'm hoping to get my hands on. I haven't seen Dr. Moose in a while. He's busy. He hasn't sent me anything either. I kept asking, like, I want the ZNC, the tiny Zinc, and I wanted his Moose 2 or whatever it is, and yeah. We need another drinking review. I just don't drink that much. What's the best full auto blaster? Stock full auto. I want to say it's the ultra speed. Uh, I don't know. Why is the little rat dancing? I typed in rat gif and that one came up. I think it's from Noita. He's just having a little vibe. There we go. All right, that, that was fun. You go, little rat man. <laughs> Percy's is really good. Yeah, Percy's is definitely up there as well. Have you had any comments that you hate and are just stuck in your head? I try not to let comments. I, I've managed to, as egotistical as it sounds, um, most of the time somebody dislikes or, you know, insults me or whatever, it's, I just have to remember who the hell are they. Like, really, I have to care about you for your opinion to matter to me at all. And I just got to remember that most of these are disgruntled people fatter than me sitting on the toilet being angry. There are so many, like nine times out of 10, a hater would literally skin me and wear me as a fat suit to have half the shit that I have. So I, it doesn't bother me anymore. You get used to it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bro, 
2014 was a decade ago, bro. Yeah, that's how time works, bro. What rebel gun is that? Uh, this is a blaster, first of all, Blake, and second of all, this is the star shot. And it's the best. Did you ever wrap that video on the select fire kit for the Nightingale? No, I could. I keep having issues with the mag. That was the thing that killed it for me. I feel bad because that video is like a year late now. And I haven't heard anything from that kid that sent it to me. And I feel terrible. That is that is like my number one thing that stops me from doing videos. It's like when I'm so late, it just feels crippling. I don't know if better late than never is necessarily appropriate. I really like that kit. It's just the magazines. I need to get more Nightingale magazines or something. Dude, I'm classic. You say that. I'm seeing so many long-term YouTube channels flip, like just die. Like, it's really scary. I actually wonder if, like, next video I upload won't even get 10k views. Because it seems like after a decade, YouTube just flips the switch and your channel's dead. That's just how it goes. I I still have plans to do, like, a Beyblade channel, especially once Beyblade X hits store shelves. Um, I think I've got a good name for it, too. So, I will most likely be doing that. I want to tighten you up. No. Uh, I have... I, I don't know. It's, it's rough. I wish I wasn't pigeonholed into doing nerf content. Uh, what's the trigger in the grip for? Oh, it's a, it's a light. It, there's no batteries in this one, I don't think. But yeah, it, it's literally just a, you know, fire strike. But if it's not, like, if this doesn't make you happy, I don't know what will. It's so comfy. It's so perfect. Rebel was so good. Don't make Beyblade content. I, I don't want to. I really do have a soft spot for Beyblade. I just don't know enough about them. That's why, like, jumping into Beyblade X will be easier. Because, like, I don't have to know everything. I can learn it as I go along. That's why I have so many Beyblades, you've never seen Beyblade content from me, specifically because I don't know enough about them. What would be your favorite obscure blaster? One that isn't mainstream, but we know it all well. Mine is probably the Dauntless. Dauntless is pretty cool. Diatron is up there. I honestly feel like the Diatron never got the love it required. It deserved. What else? What's a blaster? It's the Scavenger Stock Blaster. Scavenger is one of my favorites. And Quintic tipped $5 15 minutes ago to give you a note about it. To help prepare yourself for a new round of Just Get a Nexus Pro Rants. I'm so sorry, Quintic. Please admonish me in the chat. I'm so sorry. I missed. Dude, missing chats suck. Thank you. Thank you, Quintic. Uh, Power Strike, yeah, Power Strike 24 and 48, those are really good. The Luminaire, that is actually a really good Obscure Blaster. I only have the one. Luminate, Luminate, right? Luminate, Rebel Luminate. Do you think the a whole is better than the Sling Fire? I don't think so, Cuber. I think it's a really awkward design. But it's a really good deal, came with a lot of good attachments. I only have the one Luminate, the one I did a video on. I'm trying to think of anything else. I really like the Awaken, but that's a given. The Awaken is so good, it makes me actually want to go to a Nerf War again. How do you like Rivals turning out? Uh, I like the Mirage, and I like the Challenger. I'm just like, they're putting out too few blasters. Can the Awaken hit 300 FPS? I don't think so. It does have a really lax spring in it, in my opinion, and a really short barrel. I think I can get one hitting 250. I don't think I can get one hitting 300. What are the best talons to use? Probably just the standard original talon mags with like the brushed finish. I have five Adventure Force Red Spectrums. Man, I didn't even really like the Spectrum when it came out. I liked it for you guys, but I had Strifes and Regulators and stuff like that. 
Are you talking about the Rebel secret so shot, Andy Griff? Dude, the corner sight is a really nice blaster. I need a combo. God, I need a combo so badly. I killed the only one I had. I need a combo again. So upset about that. That's the blaster that's going to stop me from being able to do a rebel video. So if you want a rebel video, you better send me a combo. I think that's like the only blaster I'm missing. Best short dart pump action affordable blaster. Uh, long shot, X shot. X shot, long shot. Syntax. Or, uh, whoever asked that. Syntax, yeah. $50, what are you getting for a nerf war? Depends on what the uh, velocity cap and stuff is. How much do stripes go for these days? They're still like $10, $15 blasters uh, used. Uh, new, I think you can get a new one. I think they're still on Amazon for like $25, $30. That's a little bit more expensive than usual. Does the new plunger tube think this solve the problem? I don't have a new one yet, but it should, uh, Andy Griff. Man, homely, I would do dirty, dirty things to you for a combo. Let me know what you want. If you have another one, let me know what you want. <laughs> Which blaster do you think has become outdated the quickest? Uh, outdated. Uh, maybe Nexus Pro. Because that thing was like within a year, I didn't even want to touch it again. There's so many options now. What's the best subline of blasters? Ooh. Multi-shot madness. <laughs> Cop out. Should I just snip all my Adventure Force waffles to fit in a long shot? No, those are terrible in sealed breaches. Do not. Buy short darts. Nexus for sure. The timing was rough. So many pro blasters. Well, it's like they finally did like the Nexus Pro, which was cool. Like nobody's ever going to take that away from Dart Zone. They literally put a half-length magazine-fed pro dart shooter on shelves. And the darts, which is the most important thing. But like within a year, there were so many options. And like ugh, we mostly just were excited for the darts. Mostly just excited for the darts. I think the dictator's pretty good, Kid Omega. I need to do a video on it. I tried to film a review. I just, my heart wasn't in it. How do you send me stuff? Uh, there is a fan mail address in the bottom of the description. Um, like, it's in every video. There's a fan mail address. You can also contact me, like, email, Instagram. Uh, I don't respond to every email. I don't respond to every Instagram. And I'm sorry if you do email me and I don't... Uh, there are some weirdos that pop up in there and I tend, yeah. Do you hint getting a worker talent mag for the X-Shot long shot is a good decision? I don't see why that would be a bad one. Although the X-Shot mags are fine. They're a little thin, but they're fine. I haven't had an issue with them at all. Best darts cut down. Cut down waffles are good for flywheelers. They're some of the best. I, I just don't know. I don't think anything past that. Dude, I am seriously considering trying to get that removed. I, I, man. It's been bothering me for years. It's, eh. Nobody ever says anything about it. It's not like I can do it. It's like it just happens. It's like, oh, there's a thing. You're getting older. You're going to get these weird things that happen to you. Most cost-effective short dart mags. Again, it's, well, if you have a blaster that'll work with them... The pro AccuStrike stuff, they're $10 for two of them. Problem is finding blasters they work in. What time for you is right now? It's almost eight. We're going to go for a couple more minutes, but then I'm going to stop cook dinner and then probably work on a video. Do you think Hasbro will make a pump action spring or 150 FPS? I think they will. 
Uh, maybe not this year. I don't know. I think they will. Because I said no more pro stuff, and it looks like they're doing more pro stuff, so. Do you like inbuilt magazines? Yes, they are my favorite. I am not a fan of removable mags. Hey, Willinger. You're just in time to watch me shut down the stream. Congratulations. W timing. Your fist videos. Yeah, it wasn't this morning. It's finally four, 10 years old, huh? Yeah, I looked and it still said nine hours, so I must have uploaded it. Like, yeah, it would have made sense. What state do I live in? I'm in Washington. Let me guess, Joseph, he didn't like it. I'm, I'm willing to bet. I will put money down on the fact he talked crap about the inverted scales. And I thought it was a great blaster. I just have a feeling, but I'll, I'll, I'll know by, I'll know for a fact by the time I get my Sweetheart Storm, if it's actually just amazingly good. Because from what I've seen, the Sweetheart Storm wasn't amazingly good. I don't know why people are like, it's the best, it's the best, it's the best. It's like I had a, the, the, the inverted scales that I had was completely injection molded, except for the stock part, which I think that, that could be easily fixed. Like that's not a requirement to have on the blaster. Who's been the most influential designer in the hobby for 30? It's got to be Slug. Yeah, Slug started it. That's just a fact. Without Captain Slug putting out the caliber, we wouldn't have any of the stuff we have today. Washington State is where all the cool nerf tubers live. Huh. I wonder why that happened. Man, it's almost like uh, me being here, moving here, and getting all these people together and teaching them how to do YouTube stuff made it, you know... It's hard. I never get the, any kind of respect for that, but it's like how many nerf YouTubers wouldn't exist without Walcom? Literally teaching them how to YouTube and stuff like that. Being their initial inspiration and stuff like that. A lot. It's like saying Drac didn't inspire like a bunch of people, including myself. Like he did. Drac's inspiration for me was more of like, wow, I hate this guy's opinions. I want to make my own content. But thank you, Willinger. Two and a half years sounds right. What's your favorite video? Oh, you said the deplorable. That was like a one take wonder, and a lot of people really liked that one. Hey, Fallon. I man, I'd rent you out a room. I got half a house I don't use right now. Coop was in Florida, yeah. I kind of do too, jo Joseph. I kind of do too. What to get? 120 FPS cap best blaster. Uh, Leon, that would be the X shot long shot. I'm sorry. When you want the best budget, it's going to be the long shot. I like helping people. I gotta stop. I gotta stop teaching and helping people. It's always bit me in the ass every single time I do it. I love helping people though. I talk to so many people in the hobby. I'm just like, look, hey, if you want, if you want me to like, if you have any questions about YouTube and stuff, I'd be happy to help. It's Cause like, I, I like, I don't have all the answers, but I have a decent idea. Maximus with the $5 super chat. It's their first super chat ever. So give them some love. Your video, the Colonel Walsh Firefly was awesome. Made me buy one. Love your videos and keep up the great work. Yeah, uh, this, is a, this is a W blaster. It really is just one of the best. Yeah, you just can't. Oh. I want the Swin one, but it's gone now. But, oh. Because the Swin one has priming linkage on both sides. So it'll be that much smoother to prime. You know? Because, like, right now it only has the bar on one side. The Swin one has a bar on both. And technically, it's already tapped for that. I mean, technically, if you had two of them, you could probably just flip that bar around. Uh, well, it has to be, like, laser cut in a different way, I think, because the, uh, ex the, uh, whatever you call it, that would get out. I wanted to make this one my mag-fed one, but I broke the, the receiver, as you can see. I glued it together and... Yeah, and then I realized I can't remove that for the uh, the magazine-fed one. Yeah, it's a good blaster. I agree, Maximus. Thank you very much for the $5 super chat. 
armed American with a nine with a one dollar super chat. Ninety nine cents first super chat. Thank you very much, armed American. Ah, uh, thank you very much, JMC, with a two dollar super chat. I'll have more. Don't you worry. I'm gonna move that somewhere. Oh, I have that? No, I have something else. Alert box. Where should I? Go? I feel like that should be. Let me grab the alert box. You know what? Screw it. It can stay right there. It's gonna live there forever. Screw it. That's where it lives. Uh, is the X-Shot long shot compatible with Nerf Pro Max? I actually don't know the answer to that question. Oh! <clears throat> Before we shut down the stream, because we are... Oh man, now everybody's super chatting. I don't want to shut down the stream. Um, I thought about maybe putting, like, the full-length firing footages and everything as a... Uh, I really wish that would not flop. I thought about putting those as, like, members-only videos. And I know you guys probably don't want that, but it makes a lot of sense to me. It's like extra content. You know what I mean? Maximus became a new member. Well, thank you very much, Maximus. Anyone knows about what Planet Side 2 is? Could you someone design an NS44 commissioner? I've never played Planet Side 2. I know of it, but. Armed American with a $2 super chat. Is the nerf deploy the high point of nerf? I don't think that's fair. The high points perform fine. They're just ugly and horrible. So maybe you'd call the Nightingale the high point of nerf? It's pretty ugly. Works fine though. Keep the donos coming. I mean, that's not fair. I'm hungry, man. I got, I got a, I got food to cook. <laughs> the nightingale looks like something a retail employee would have on their hip. That's a fair assessment, I believe, Moonspice Flower Girl. Do you feel like the, do you feel that the Firefly is the best nerf shotgun? Retro, I think so. If you can use 50 caliber foam balls, it's definitely the best, in my opinion. At least that's a traditional shotgun. It could be said that, like, the, the uh, Megalodon is a really good shotgun, but it's not like your traditional shotgun. Uh, you're quite welcome, Spazzy. You don't need to spam, though. Stop spamming. Stop spamming. You're gonna get annihilated. All right, you learned your lesson. Good job, Spazzy. Armed American with a $2 super chat. Will you shoot a Nerf dart off the Space Needle? I don't think I've ever been to the top of the Space Needle before. I, I've just, I never had a reason to, I guess. Does it have like a balcony where you could just stand out there? I know there's a restaurant up there, but I, I know it has like an observation deck and I know it has a balcony, but you can't like, it's all enclosed. I don't think there's a balcony where you can shoot a Nerf dart. I don't I don't think that's a thing. Wrote here and tipped $5. Here's an extra five for the non-YouTube fun for dessert. Oh, thank you very much. I don't know. Is the wife still in chat? Are we going to go to the store and buy something for dessert? We could. I don't think she wants to go out anymore, though. She, she, had, a, she had a pretty rough day at work. I don't want to go out by myself. It's not fun, but I understand why you wouldn't want to. Oh, you can Oh, that's what you were talking about. I thought she was answering my question about eating or going to the store. I didn't know you could go out. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'd get arrested if I brought a Nerf blaster into the Space Needle. Have a good night, Andy Griff. Yeah, I think we're going to tone things down. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Thank you very much for such an awesome stream, everyone. We've been consistently over 80-something uh, people the entire time. I really appreciate that. I know this wasn't, like, the most entertaining stream ever. Like I said, I slept pretty much all day because of allergies and stuff like that. Um, I will have a video off for you tomorrow, I promise. Well, thank you very much, Anonymous Dirt Biker Rider.
Yeah, it's it's rough right now, Jay. It's rough. <laughs> uh, I'm running low. I think these might be my last allergy meds. Classic for real with a $1 tip. Before you leave, someone else said you made them buy an X-Shot long shot. You did the same for me, which made me stay in this hobby. It's a really good blaster. It's a shame they had that plunger tube issue. But thank you very much for the dollar super chat, Classic. I mean, you've tipped like 20 something dollars this chat. Um, I really hope that that blaster is super successful for them. It's gonna be really hard to top it, but if they did like a long shot XL or something that was like way higher quality for like 50 bucks, I think they'd make a killing. I have printed out two or three Corsairs, Kid Mega. I just don't really feel much. I might do like a short. I had a video plan where it's like, this is your first 3D printed blaster and it was the Corsair. But I bought, like I was trying to make them hit like better than like 40 FPS. And I even, I have it right here. Um, I think it was Hawkeye that told me like, buy this rubber tubing for it. I was like, rubber tubing, that sounds amazing. So I spent like 20 bucks on all this rubber tubing. It doesn't even work. It slides right off the catch, it's too big. I think you should stream more often. Rapid, I stream every Saturday night. Every Saturday night, except for the nights I don't, but most of the time I'm here on a weekend streaming. Usually it's like a big reason if I'm not streaming. Yeah, that's more likely, Blake. That's more likely. I would probably get arrested. I'm sure they have people there to like, like you can't bring, you know, stuff like that in. Even if it was like a jolt, I think I'd get in trouble. I can't do another nickel. Anything new on N series? I have not seen anything yet. Although Walmart's looking very, very uh, thin in the blaster selection right now. I could stream. I, I've been thinking about it. There's a chance I could. Have you seen Bruce's hopper fed blaster? I don't think so. I want to do building streams, and as uh, the temperature warms up, which I think this week the lowest temp's like 80, or not 80, uh, 40 something. Usually it's like 42 degrees at night. Oh, I had DK open. Um. Oh my god, so many. Oh, my print's done. What was I gonna check? I completely forgot. I, what was I gonna check? I bought up my phone to check something, got distracted by Nikkei being open, and I don't remember what I was gonna do. Man, I'm dumb. Super dumb. I'm sure it wasn't important. Nikkei moment. <laughs> I'm not cooking. I don't even think that's possible. Maybe if I had like my Steam Deck and everything set up for live streaming. The food is a thing. You are a little late, Maximus. Put on the maid outfit and cooking stream for 250. Uh, have I made a maraca? I have not made a maraca. I know a lot of people love it. I, like I said, I a lot of printing and stuff for a 60 to 70 FPS maybe blaster. You're reminding me of Cooking Mama Let's Cook, which is mobile. I like Cooking Mama. How many printers do you have and which ones? Right now I have a Flash Forge 2, a CR10, an Ender 3, an Ender, uh, a CS10 Smart, and a Bamboo X1 Carbon. I saw that too, Rohirin! Do you remember the Nerf Needler? No, I have no idea. Yes, of course I do, Retro. It's only been out for like a year or two. Oh, 
104 notifications? What the hell? So many. So many notifications. Strifex is kind of mid. It is kind of mid, Beluga. All right. I think we're going to shut things down. I said we'd be done at 8. I went a little bit longer. I am famished. I need food. I haven't eaten today. I think I had a bowl of cereal on like 3 o'clock this morning, and that's it. And I want actual food. I hunger. Thank you very much for making it such a good stream, Dave V, Kid Mega, Blake, Vesic. Uh, no, it was not Vesic. I actually picked up... Uh, like maple raisin bran. I thought it was pretty good. Brandon Wade, Syntax is chilling. Beluga's in the battle room. JMC. JB72, Brandon Wade, Classic for Real. Joshua, Rapid, Solonese. That's Solonese, not a mod. I feel like Solonese should have been a mod a while ago. King Kiwi, Midnight8262, Fallon. Here's to another 10. Thank you. Thank you, Kingston WV Nerfer. Like I said, Maximus, every Saturday we'll have, a, have one. I could probably do them more often. We'll see. Uh, I want to do more building streams, so I could. Thank you very much, Lanix. Man, I never thought I'd be doing this for this long, I'm, I'm afraid. But again, next video I upload might only get like 6K views and... YouTube will just tell me, oh, regular viewers aren't clicking on your video much and never tell me why. It's like, because you're not you're not sending it to them. And it's like, yep, your YouTube, your 10 years YouTube channel's dead. That's usually how it goes. They don't usually let a channel exist longer than that. I've seen so many long-term channels just fizzle out completely, even though the content they've been making is the best that's ever been. It sucks. But thank you very much, everyone. Let's see if we can find a better song. Uh, that's pretty good. Have a good night.